Come and ready. All right. You have to put the potatoes in the grill. Then you have to put the oil. Then you put the, the, the eggs. Oh, three eggs right on top. All right, so what do we got? We got the refried beans right refried there. Bean. We're running through. It's like a track meet in here. Okay, there we go. Bacon, sausage, ham. And then last but not least. This is the cheese. And then one minute in there. One of the biggest tacos you're ever going to come across on sheer size, weight, and just loaded up. An important part of San Antonio culinary history for almost four decades, Haran's has been here serving up the goods just east of downtown San Antonio, right off Houston Street. This is why you need to come out here. This thing is absolutely insane. Boom. That's the buy. Absolutely insane. It doesn't get crazier than this. Now it's time for tonight's secret word. The sixth letter is C. Subscribe to the Texas Eats YouTube page and enter the entire secret word as a comment on the giveaway video for your chance to win a $1,000 two-night stay to Hotel Emma and a $300 gift card to Southerly Restaurants presented by Texas Relocation Experts and Southerly Restaurants. KSAC Connect, and boy, did y'all deliver. When a cool cumulonimbus cloud showed up around sunset, we received so many great pictures. See something cool? Snap, share, and make it on air with KSAC Connect. This is how legends are made. Chevy Silverado, a new Silverado HD. Choose your own path with the number one best-selling retail full-size pickup and see where it takes you. Find new roads. It's Chevy truck season. Get 0% financing plus make no monthly payments for 90 days on all 2023 Silverado 1500 pickups or get 2250 total cash allowance on a 2023 Silverado with a turbo high output engine. Chevy drives Texas. Find new roads. Your family is important to us, and that's why CentroMed has a team of pediatricians and pediatric nurse practitioners trained to take care of children's health care needs. Our team will make sure that your child's well-being is safeguarded by checking their vision, hearing, and physical development as he or she grows from childhood into adolescence. We are available for evening and weekend appointments. For more information or to schedule an appointment, call 210-922-7000 or log on to CentroMedSA.com. Throughout my life, I've always been inspired by people who are determined. The ones who rise to the occasion with everything they've got. I wanted to celebrate these people with a beer designed for them. Our beer is brewed with organic grains. It's under 100 calories per can, it's super low in carbs, and tastes fantastic. Whatever you're after, cheers to the chase. Chick fans everywhere. People love our spicy, famous Wicked Wings. Just $6.99 for six wings and a fresh bake roll. The crunch. Okay. The spice, it just gets me grooving. Just wait till you try the new Big and Wicked Chicken Sandwich. The seasoning on it is so yeah. good. So good, but so wicked. It's crunchy, it's delicious. I got the pickle in the bite. Crust on the chicken, it's amazing. They love it. We've made some new fans. Golden chicken. There's a powerful beast said to be roaming these woods. And if you listen carefully, you can hear it. And sometimes you can see its tracks. And every now and then, you get a quick glimpse of it. Grandpa telling his stories again. The 2023 Toyota Tundra. Better trucks make better stories. Toyota. Let's go places. Spreester, Jimenez, Kasky, Ramirez. Cars ramming into DPS troopers. I do the behind the kitchen door. Hear about the video of your DWI arrest. Expect more at 10. Then on the night beat. Night on the night beat. The night beat. The seventh letter.
letter is K. Subscribe to the Texas Eats YouTube page and enter the entire secret word as a comment on the giveaway video for your chance to win a $1,000 two-night stay to Hotel Emma and a $300 gift card to Southerly Restaurants presented by Texas Relocation Experts and Southerly Restaurants. Don't forget to join us every Saturday at 10 o'clock in the morning and 11 o'clock at night right here on KSAT 12. Plus, stick around. The Fiesta Flambeau Parade coverage starts right after this. Heart pounding design, intelligent technology, courageous performance. Discover a new world of possibilities in the Lexus RX. Never lose your edge. Ignoring your AC system can set you up for costly repairs, but it doesn't have to be that way. If you're having high utility bills and your system runs all the time, call John Wayne for the ultimate tune-up and we'll check your system from top to bottom. We'll clean the outdoor coil, flush the drain line, check refrigerant levels, the first pound of Freon is free, and install our exclusive compressor saver and $800 value, all for only $199. I guarantee your system won't fail this summer. Call John Wayne today at 293-6700 and tell them you want the ultimate tune-up. Ready? It's happening right now at Rooms to Go. Pick from 100 beautiful rooms, each under $1,500. Picture it. Your style, your budget, and interest-free financing. Save on rooms like this for $30 or less per month. $25 or less per month. $20 or less per month, interest-free for 50 months. 100 stylish options, each under $1,500. Furnish your home to perfection. Now at Rooms to Go. Oh boy, she got another Wi-Fi device. Our network can't handle that. What? It can't? The router's gonna blow. And what does that mean? We're all gonna die. We're all gonna die? No! Not all Wi-Fi can be Spectrum Wi-Fi. What's going on in there? Spectrum Advanced Wi-Fi can handle up to 200 devices. Goodbye, sweet world. Get Wi-Fi you can rely on. Get Spectrum One. So, what are you sipping? Whether it's our freshly ground coffee to wake you up or an icy Polar Pop cup or froster to keep you going. The Sip and Save drink subscription at Circle K keep you refreshed every day. Join today and grab any size drink. Just sign up with your mobile number when you check out. Start sipping and saving today. Limited time offer at participating locations. The number one Harley dealer in San Antonio is back at it again. This time with no payments all summer long. You heard that right. With the largest new Harley inventory in the market and no payments for 120 days, now is the perfect time to get riding and start living. Visit our showroom on I-35 just north of 410 and find the ride for you. Cowboy Harley Davidson of Alamo City. Number one for a reason. Let's ride. Watch Fiesta 2023 only on Case at 12. Lights, camera, Fiesta. Welcome to our Fiesta Flambeau Parade pre coverage live from the middle of the parade route. Thank you for joining us. I'm Steve Spreester. And I'm Stefania Jimenez. This is such a special year. So this yeah. marks 75 years of Fiesta Flambeau. And this has really grown into not just a San Antonio favorite, but an event that's recognized Thank around you. the country. Thank you. <laughs> Love it. Thank awesome. you, guys. Awesome. Yeah, we are right in the middle of live coverage. Obviously, I appreciate all of the veterans that just walked by giving me a POW MIA shirt. Thank you very much for that. Uh, you know, this is the biggest and the brightest tonight. Yeah. The Flambeau Parade. It's, so much going on. It's bright right now because of all of the colors. It is Fiesta after all. But just in a little bit, when it gets darker, you're going to see the Illuminated Night Parade, right? The largest illuminated night parade in the country. Yeah, and I don't know if we can zoom over to the uh, KSAT Insider Grandstand or not to see all the people that are over there right now, but it is quite, quite an event, both on the parade route 
and behind the parade route. As a matter of fact, let's go live now to John Paul Barajas and Jen Strusky hanging out with our KSAT insiders, guys. Yes, hello, you said it best. We're here, we got you covered, Steve, right, John Paul? Hey, this We're is ready? an amazing crowd, and I think we have, a, have them queued up. Yes. Are ready? you guys ready? On the count of three, let's get a Viva Fiesta, all right? One, two, three. Viva Fiesta! So last year I had the privilege of covering Flambeau, and I think we actually tripled the amount of people at the wow. KSAT Insiders Party this year. Yes. It's been absolutely amazing. The crowd has been awesome, and hanging out with everybody has been the best part of it. Yes, and they are hyped up. Sorry, John Paul, I have to. There we go. Yes, we're I'm everybody's it. target. This is ridiculous. <laughs> we got David Sears over there throwing confetti at people. No, we all talked about all the colors. Obviously, I had to try to stand out. Jin beat yes, me. Yes, I can find him. I can find him anywhere. Yes. But I've also seen a bunch of people in Brahma's gear, yes. and we actually have Let's a Brahma there. Rose right here. She's decked out. Yeah. Kind of talk to us about the outfit first. Horns forward, first and foremost, yes. And thank you for being here. Thank you for doing this. This is awesome. Viva Fiesta. Go Brahmas. Horns forward. So I chose to be, you know, colorful, loud, some would say. You went with the all yellow. Talk to me about the logo down here. Custom made, right? Yes, it is. <laughs> We're taking the Brahmas logo. We're adding the rose to it Woo! to be the Brahma Roses. Woo! <laughs> And I love the hat. You can't forget the hat. Yes, Thank beautiful. You. And how are you guys enjoying the Kisa Insiders time? We're having a great time. Thank you. What's your favorite part so far? The, well, so far, the band. Well, not the bands yet, but the military and the, the runners and all the, all the effort that they do to raise money and stuff. Like that is. And I love your earrings, Thank by you. the way. Beautiful. You having fun, too? Oh, yeah. Yes. We come every year. Okay, well, I have to show this cutie back here because I know I've been eyeing you. You want to say Viva Fiesta to the camera? Viva Fiesta! Woo, here you go ahead, get me, get me, get me. Yes, all right. I lost John Paul, where did he go? I'm right here. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm with the crowd, I'm with the people. We're hanging out, having a great time. Brother, talk to me. Have you been to Flambeau before? Yes. I'm from San Antonio. I've been here. I've been here. I've been coming for since I was like, like 50 years. 50 years. What's your favorite part? What keeps bringing you back? The the, the festivity, the people. What do you think about the KSAT Insiders Party? Yeah, it's my first time here at this one. It's good, awesome. The drinks were good. Yes. The food was good. Yes. Are we good? Yeah, y'all awesome. <laughs> KSAT's the best. <laughs> uh, I think they're ready to toss yes, it back yes, we're over toss to it Steve back over. and Stephania. Let's keep the party going, guys. Absolutely, John Paul, Jen. That is the place to be in the KSAT Insider Grandstand tonight. Yeah, and, we've been partying uh, for hours wow. already. Yeah, enthusiastic crowd. And that's one of the things I love about the Fiesta Flambeau Parade more than anything else. It's the, in the words of Adam Kasky, it's the rowdiest. Oh, this is true. It's this the, is true. The, the energy. I mean, if you come here and you're just a little bit tired, don't worry. This is going to, this is just like a boost of, of caffeine and all that stuff. I mean, it's just, you can't help but, but just be happy when you're yeah. looking around all, when you're looking around, you're meeting all of these people. They're so excited to be here. And again, I always say this, but when you look at an event, at an event like this and you meet the people of San Antonio, my gosh, is this a beautiful city? This is the place to be. I'm telling you right now, San Antonio Fiesta time, it does not get any better than that. And you know, when you hear the name San Antonio, two things might come to mind. Fiesta, of uh -huh. course, and the Spurs. And yep. that's exactly why the nonprofit Spurs, the nonprofit Spurs give has made it a point to be part of tonight's festivities. As a matter of fact, they were uh, very much a part of the festivities just moments before we went live tonight. That's right, and you know, this is, they're really a, a special organization because they raise money year round and they encourage the power of sports, especially among our local youth. Absolutely, and this is the second annual Fiesta de los Spurs fun run. We caught up with last year's winner who says this is a unique race, a unique track to actually run on and it's a fiesta favorite this is definitely one of my favorite races andrew mysick has been an avid runner for years and done probably more than 100 races 
but none compared to the Fiesta de los Spurs run. But this one is really special to me because the atmosphere is just unlike any other race that I've ever been able to compete in. Runners get to experience like they're in the parade before the parade kicks off and get cheered on by the crowd. It's a 2.8 mile route. And so it's less than a 5K. 5K is typically what people will see as like an entry run. That doesn't feel like a typical race. A little warm up at the gym or a walk around the block, that's about a mile. So if you're comfortable doing that, add one more mile with great weather, great support, great crowd around you. You're not even going to notice the, the course is going to fly by. you. And don't forget good company. For Andrew, the race has become a family tradition. My mom, she would do a little bit of running before she go into work. And then she's like, oh, this is kind of fun. So we encourage my dad to do it. And then they encourage work friends and they encourage more people. My aunt, uncle did it. And then I, when I got down there, I saw at least 10 of my friends. And even some unique sightings. I'll never forget, I think it was a year or two ago, there was a group of people that made homemade costumes and there were buildings and there was a person chasing them in a Godzilla suit. And so you got everything from Godzilla running to me running in my running shoes trying to get first place. Runners getting creative with their Fiesta fashion for a costume contest at the finish line. This year the theme is the is Tux and Tennies, so we'll see that theme out here. We'll also have just the whole Fiesta vibe here in Legacy Park and we'll have the costume contest. So we encourage people to hang out uh, here in Legacy Park while the parade kicks off uh, and just be a part of Fiesta. All right, I have to say that it is one of the most unique uh, <laughs> for the outfits that a lot of people wear. Some of them will wore the tux and tennies. Others tonight. dressed up as tacos, yeah, which I think made we, me very hungry. I think we have some video from earlier of some of the runners going by and some of the runners that started, and you can see... A lot of them very young. A lot of them very young, <laughs> a lot of them old. There were people pushing strollers for their with their kids. Which there is were, dedication. Which is dedication. I actually, when I first moved to town, this used to be called the Fiesta Fandango fun run before uh -huh. the Spurs made it part of their endeavors uh -huh. and I ran it one time and there was somebody that ran it in an Elvis outfit wow. somebody who ran it in a in cowboy boots well I think the the one person who had everybody beat today was the woman who wore an actually it looked like a quinceanera dress and yes. a crown she wore a crown. Well, she deserves it, right? Yeah. After you're running, what, 2.6 miles? There you see the Texan tunny, sh the there Texan you. tux and tennis <laughs> outfits that a lot of people wore uh, during this event. But it, it is like you can run it. There are people who take it seriously. There are people who are just out here for the environment. Because, I mean, what other fun run do you get to do where there are, what, 700,000 people that are along the parade to route cheer you watching on. you and cheering you on. Yes, yes, yeah, and that it's was definitely encouraging. That was the thing when I ran it, mm -hmm. took off, it was wild, this is great. Got about 400 meters in and said, <laughs> I, I, haven't I haven't been breathing. Because you're so excited and you're <laughs> like, so then you're like, oh gosh, I just hope I make it to the end. But there you get an idea of just they, what goes into this fun run. And they've got to feel that sense of accomplishment once it's done. And you know what? The weather's not even that bad today, right? This is not typical fiesta weather. Usually it's a lot hotter. So uh, they, they got a little bit of a break. Oh, and I'm digging that, that yeah. pink oh, yeah. shirt with the tux. Yeah. Yeah. And, the, and, and this gives you a sense of how much of this crowd is ready for this parade tonight because they were cheering on all of those runners with gusto. And, and I mean, this crowd is going to be loud. You'll hear it at certain points throughout the parade route where we are. I know we have a camera that's down by the Alamo. We have yeah. a camera that's going to be on one of the floats itself. So we're going to, we've got you covered tonight with all the sights and sounds as we take the Alamo camera of all the sights and sounds of the Flambeau Parade, the biggest and brightest. You know, every year, one of the biggest honors to come out of Fiesta is really the Grand Marshal uh, for the Fiesta Flambeau Parade. Yeah, absolutely. And this year they actually have two Grand Marshals, and uh, Tejano star Shelly Lattis yes. is one of them. Mm -hmm. She was named the Honorary Grand Marsha, Marshal, and telenovela star Danilo Carrera was actually named the Grand Marshal, and so we will see both of them tonight. That's right, and Danilo has a really special story because he was born and raised in Guayaquil, Ecuador, and that's where he started his career modeling. He then joined the Ecuadorian soccer team, and he won a championship, so wow. got a lot on his plate there. All right, so he's more than just a telenovela novella this star. This is true, yes. Yeah, he moved to Miami in 2009, started college, eventually got picked up by Telemundo for an award-winning role in the show. I'm going to let you read that. Relaciones peligrosas, which is really dangerous relationships. There you go. Now take a look at his reaction to being part of the parade. Watch this. 
I am very, very honored to be named the 2023rd Flambeau Parade Grand Marshal. San Antonio is an amazing city with so much cultural diversity, with this extraordinary and legendary history. I'm just thrilled to be spending more time with you and experience the world of Fiesta. Viva San Antonio and see you soon. Now we're told that actually Danilo has traveled long, a long way to be with us tonight. Listen to this. He came from his home in Ecuador. He made another appearance in Mexico City, then came straight to San Antonio. This was just in a matter of days. And now that's the dedication that we're talking about so much of tonight. And we are so excited to have him visit our beautiful and very friendly city. Absolutely. So what goes in? to being a Grand Marshal. Well, President Erwin DeLuna says he and his team brainstorm all year, just trying to figure out who, for someone who resonates with the city of San Antonio in one way or another, here's what he had to say about picking this year's Grand Marshal and honorary Grand Marshal. I think they reflect the city of San Antonio. They reflect uh, the culture and traditions that we have here. You know, we're very embodied in not only the culture of the Mex Mexican-American, but we also have a lot of cultures from around the world, German and otherwise. Many people, regardless of what culture, enjoy their music, their talent, and recognize them right up front. So it's been a great thing to have them here as well. So let's talk about our honorary Grand Marshal now. She's actually a San Antonio native with an amazing career in music that transcends not just language, but also genres. Yeah, and I've got to meet her before. I remember the first time I ever uh -huh. met her was at Tycoon Flats, and she came up and introduced herself. And she's, she's a force of nature. I can't yeah, wait to she meet her. She is. She's always dreamed of a career in the medical field, and now that she's hung up her Tejano hat, she's found a way to merge both worlds. We're talking about Shelly Lattice. Check, Check this out. out. If you've lived in San Antonio for a while, you might recognize her voice. For contributions to the Tejano music scene. I've represented uh, Tejano music here from the San Antonio area for 40 years. Shelly Lattis began her career at just 10 years old when she was discovered by the group The Hot Tamales playing her sister's wedding. My sister asked if I could sing a song with them, and I didn't sing a Spanish song, I sang an Olivia Newton John song. And uh, they just fell in love with my voice, and they actually called my parents that night and asked if I could join the band right after practice. Nicknamed Little Miss Dynamite, her talent would take her on a solo career on the Latin music charts throughout the late 90s and early 2000s. I've done extremely well in my career, have numerous uh, Grammy nominations and awards, and now I'm retired and I have my own record label, Shell Shock Records 3. But one of my favorite things that I'm doing now in my retirement is I'm doing music therapy for hospice patients. tell you all of the performances in the 40 years that I've done all together do not compare to the moments that I'm making with a human being that's on hospice right now. It's Working in the medical field has always been a dream of Shelley's. Now she's found a way to combine both of her passions. When I see these patients, when I get there, they're one way. When I leave, they're another way. They're lively, they're singing, they're smiling, they're, they're just enjoying the music. And if I can give that patient comfort just for a little while, a distraction from their pain, their anxiety, their depression, or getting ready to transition, then I'm all about it. A 40-year career that's taken her across the world. I've traveled all over the United States and Mexico, Japan, Guam, Alaska, Korea. And back home to give back and celebrate it all. I'd always tease, like, when I would do Fiesta or, or I would do events in San Antonio, I'm like, man, I'm born and raised in San Antonio. I mean, I want a barge named after me at least or a mural of some sort. I've been in the parade as a little girl, as a cheerleader, and then as a performer. But now to be the honorary Grand Marshal after my, my retirement this past year for 40 years, it's, it's a big honor. Viva Fiesta! Ow! Okay, it's an I honor, it. but also a well-deserved one. She's oh, yeah. done amazing work with the community. I love what she's doing. Just, it's got to be extremely satisfying to do what you love and also helping people at the same time. Well, and she has touched people for so long with her music. Mm -hmm. This is 
more grassroots that she's doing now. I mean, she's getting to, you know, down to a baser level with going around and playing music for people that are in hospice or people that are that really respond to her music and music itself in a different way. And so I appreciate that so much. And you can tell that she is so full of life. Yes, and passionate. And yes, yes, we love, we love that she was chosen to do this. And uh, we love that we're showing you that story as well. Okay, we want you to stick around because we have a lot more fun on the other end of this break. Yeah, just getting started. We'll see you back here live. At Fiesta Flambeau, yeah, free show. Yeah, free party. From all of us at Sunshine Cottage, Las Palapas drive through Fiesta from April 20th through the 30th. Featuring Fiesta favorites, chicken on a stick, nachos, margaritas to go, and many more. Las Palapas drive through Fiesta. This is how legends are made. Chevy Silverado, a new Silverado HD. Choose your own path with the number one best-selling retail full-size pickup and see where it takes you. Find new roads. It's Chevy truck season. Get 0% financing plus make no monthly payments for 90 days on all 2023 Silverado 1500 pickups or get 2250 total cash allowance on a 2023 Silverado with a turbo high output engine. Chevy drives Texas. Find new roads. Hello, San Antonio. My name is Natalie Gomez, your 2023 Reina Linda. When you think of Fiesta, you think of vibrant colors and great food. But most importantly, Fiesta is about cultures of San Antonio, about making memories with friends and family. We have been visiting schools, spreading the importance of education. As La Reina Linda, you have helped me raise over $100,000 for scholarships for college-bound students. Viva Fiesta, and don't forget, con Gómez son familia. Gómez lo fight! Gómez lo fight! What do you call a local hospital that serves families from across the world? The first and only hospital in San Antonio, solely dedicated to the care of children and expectant mothers, grounded in faith and backed by a world-class health system. And what do you call a hospital that's so much more than a hospital? You know us as the Children's Hospital of San Antonio, but now we have a new name that better reflects who we are and the purpose we pursue every day. Introducing Christus Children's. in Las Palapas from fresh lines to our premium tequilas and mixes classic and signature margaritas meet me for margaritas at Las Palapas from all of us at AFFCU and now a did you know fiesta moment did you know flambeau comes from the french word meaning flaming torch or large candlestick the fiesta flambeau parade was originally inspired by the night parades of mardi gras in new orleans i am here with suzanne of toyota texas now suzanne toyota sequoia is the official vehicle of fiesta 2023 tell me a little bit about this truck this is an amazing SUV, and uh, right now we are sitting in the TRD Pro. As you can see, Solar Octane, this beautiful orange. You can't be missed in this color. You cannot be missed in this color. It is amazing, but this vehicle can do anything. First of all, 100% hybrid. This shares the iForce Max powertrain with the Tundra that's made in our powertrain plant in Alabama. And the TRD Pro can go anywhere. Two weeks ago, I was in this vehicle in Glamis, California, in the sand dunes with a group of women who are off-roading. It can do anything. It's amazing. It's almost like a big toy when you're out and about off-roading, right? <laughs> it is a big toy. Now, I understand you played an integral role in transforming the Toyota plant here in San Antonio to 
build the Sequoia. And what does that mean to you when you see these vehicles on the road? Well, we've been working on this vehicle since 2017, 18 time period. And then when you bring it to market, it's just amazing. Everybody who's part of their team, you see these vehicles out in the field, you see people using them, loving them, enjoying them, and you just have so much pride. So people see the Tundras and they know, yeah, Toyota built San Antonio. But now we can add another vehicle to that list. Is that right? Absolutely. This is built right here on the south side alongside the Tundra. Shares a platform, shares a powertrain. Two amazing vehicles that are only built in San Antonio, Texas. And it's now 20 year anniversary since you've been in San Antonio, Texas. Happy anniversary. Yes, happy anniversary. All right, we'll have more in just a little bit. I'm Jasmine Ramirez, Miss Fiesta. You're watching Fiesta 2023 on KSAT 12. Thinking about selling your vehicle? Get a real offer today at Gunn. Just like our real prices, we give you a real offer for your vehicle. Good for 10 days or 1,000 miles, and we guarantee it in writing. You don't have to buy anything from Gunn. We just really need more pre-owned inventory. We'll give you top dollar and write you a check on the spot. Visit GunnAuto.com today for locations. Selling your vehicle to Gunn means a real offer. Guaranteed. Real. Simple. Kickapoo Lucky Eagle Casino Hotel in Eagle Pass is the premier entertainment destination in Texas. You can share a meal with friends at Azul Restaurant, dance to your favorite songs played live at K-Pasa Lounge, and win a jackpot on one of our over 3,000 slot machines. For details, visit LuckyEagleTexas.com or find us on social at Lucky Eagle Texas. How do we transform the health of our unique communities? At UT Health San Antonio, we do everything it takes. We put everything we have into tailoring world-class care precisely to your needs with a passion for people, a heart for healing, all coming to life and our promise to do everything it takes in our relentless pursuit of the healthiest you. UT Health San Antonio. Throughout my life, I've always been inspired by people who are determined, the ones who rise to the occasion with everything they've got. I wanted to celebrate these people with a beer designed for them. Our beer is brewed with organic grains, is under 100 calories per can, is super low in carbs, and tastes fantastic. Whatever you're after, cheers to the chase. Let's go places. And now, a did you know Fiesta moment. Did you know in 1971, King Antonio the 49th Charles Orsinger handed out what is now considered to be the first official Fiesta medal. Before that, only Fiesta royalty wore medals. But we're all royalty, really. Fiesta royalty, you could say, right? We are I mean, now. Yes, yeah. yes, we because we say so. And you know what? A big part of this, obviously, is the medals. People get so excited about this stuff. My first Fiesta was last year, and I didn't understand how this worked. And I and I asked, okay, what's the big deal with the medals? Yeah. Well, they're like currency, man. You show yeah, them off. You gotta There's know. So much thought that goes into designing them. And you know, here at KSAT, we actually have five official ones this year, and they're all pretty cool. But I have to tell you, my favorite one is the Gasquidon because it spins, and it's just a really cool like aqua color yeah and even the fiesta flambeau with the diamond mm -hmm. jubilee metal right there Ooh, got a little reflection there as you should from the <laughs> flambeau parade anyway so metal it, metals are a big thing yes how many times did we get asked just today countless whether we have any metals that we can give out we have an endless supply of and them. we do which is great but there are metal maniacs mm -hmm. out there as a matter of fact our jen tobias strusky stopped by and met 
with some of these metal maniacs. Check them out. Viva Fiesta. It's the sound of Fiesta. For some, the hunt is all fun. For others, it's a very serious mission. I've been collecting metal since, maybe since 1986 was my first one. People will see me, and if I spot somebody with a bag, I'll know that they have a medal, so I'll be like scoping that out. <laughs> Lillian Villanueva is one of the founders of the Fiesta Metal Maniacs group. The followers share their metal hunting finds, tricks, and tips too. So now we are um, a huge success, and we have over 20,000 followers and we love it. We love the fun. We love seeing all the medals. We love you know, going to parties and, and everything about medals is awesome. Clearly, she loves Fiesta, but it's not just for the medals. Actually, Fiesta is my birthday month. My birthday almost always falls during Fiesta, so I kind of call it my birthday party. <laughs> all of these are 2023 that I've gotten this year. Um, plenty of them I've bought, uh, a lot of them that I've traded. Uh, you know, uh, pretty much the, uh, um, I love to go after the uh, Ray Fayo guys because they always have awesome medals. Here are a few tips she shares with new and experienced collectors. Let's start with the penny. You know, when you put them on the sashes, we've learned to that, you know, how to secure them with putting like another safety pin behind it to secure it. Sometimes you have to check your little rings to make sure that they're not falling off because they have gotten lost. So just keep an eye out and watch the Fiesta Metal Maniacs because we, we, we're hunting all, all the time looking for medals to post. And that includes after Fiesta events where metal collectors meet and trade or sell their duplicate medals. If you find one that's like a hard to get one, buy two or three. That way, if you want to trade with somebody for one of their medals that are awesome, then you have a great trade. If you're going to create your own medal, start early, like maybe even in October is not too early to start. But what do you do with all these medals you've collected? Monica Medina is another collector who embraces all things Fiesta with a creative twist. I love the people, I love the culture, I love the colors, I love everything. Her collection, as you can see here, is being repurposed. And those are our Fiesta trees because there's the tree for everything. Medina shares that her late brother introduced her to Fiesta as a child, and celebrating each year helps to bring back those memories. He used to take us to the carnival all the time, win us the big stuffed teddy bears and the crooked bottles, and you know, we used to do the duck pond and everything else, and it was just always, it's very nostalgic for me, it was always something that I enjoyed. So every year, she preserves her Fiesta memories and her medals too. My daughter came up with this creative idea. She's really artsy. Um, they're muñecas, and she did the flowers and painted the faces with great detail. Mm -hmm. And she decided to put medals on the babies. This, these are all our Medina Best Plumbing medals. What about a Fiesta Christmas tree? So we got this and we you just put the, the yarn on it and the ribbon and the, all the little Fiesta, cool Fiesta stuff. And then we just stuck some metals on it. These are just metals that I just stuck on this. I was gonna finish it later. This, I just put some glitter rocks on the bottom and I filled it up with um, metals and I just love it. I keep this on my dining room table all throughout Fiesta. Do you have a Fiesta vest? Well, why not put it in a frame? The hanging garland? Well, this is something you can pull out every year for Fiesta, a fun and creative way to display your medals. This one was done by Carolina's Antiques. A few other ideas, a Fiesta sign, and of course, preserving them in the classic frame. It's a party with the purpose because everything goes back to our community and everybody, um, you know, the medals mean a lot to certain foundations and 501s and it's just like a really cool thing. Yay, viva Fiesta! Viva. Fiesta fun. That is That's creative. creativity, yes. creativity right yes. there.
Yeah. My favorite was that. the wreath. I do like the wreath. Also, the idea of a tree, putting medals yeah. on the trees. Also, with the jackets, the scarves. So, I'm going to say, nice. so the Caskey medal, I don't know if you can see it. It spins right there. It's the Caskey Roan. Like a fidget. Yeah. So, it's my favorite. But I do have to say, the Texas Eats is close. Why? Because it's got, it looks like a donut. Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Just that's it's, why uh, that's simple. It yeah, looks like a donut. It looks like a donut on the outside. And the man it's got likes the Texas, donuts. And then on the back, it's got a, a nice Texas KSAT 12 on it. I like it. Okay. Yeah, All it's, right. it's, 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 a, it's festive. I also do like the flambeau diamond jubilee one too yeah yeah Very that nice is metal. that is a beautiful one yeah. and you know what it's if you're trying like if, if on, you ever maybe. try to understand why this is such a big deal is because san antonio is very much a city that takes pride in everything that makes up San Antonio. And so medals are just a part of that. I mean, they, part of people wanting to show how unique they are, how unique businesses are, people are. I mean, you know, Caskey loves his thermometer and with the little, with the, yeah. with the spinny thing. That's what he's holding right you there. You know, if you want to know if you, if you uh, have a status symbol during Fiesta, if you jingle jangle, you got it going this on. This is true. If this you is jingle true. jangle, you got it going on. It's a status symbol. Yeah, it's very fiesta. It's hard San to be Antonio. sneaky yeah. when you when you have all those medals. And with that's you. exactly what you want. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> with a surprisingly fuel-efficient VC turbo engine. You can go from zero to fun in no time and leave basic far behind. The 2023 Nissan Rogue. Anything but basic. Get 0% financing for 36 months or get a low $399 per month lease on Rogue. This isn't just any burger run. This is a burger run for Whataburger Sweet and Spicy Bacon Burger. Two fresh all-beef patties with melty cheese, grilled onions, crispy bacon, and sweet and spicy pepper sauce. One for you, one for him, and one for your unofficial roommate, Brad. Always order an extra. You yeah, know, for Brad. The all-time favorite sweet and spicy bacon burger from Whataburger. Just like you like it. I won. I won. Want the speed to finally defeat your mortal enemy? Oh, oh, oh there he is! I won! Only Spectrum gives you speed boost for the fastest wireless speeds in the palm of your hand. Get game-changing speed with Speed Boost only with Spectrum One. The Rose to Go Kids Bed Sale is here. Fantastic, fun, and famous for beds starting at just two ninety nine. Looking for style and function? We've got lots of cool bunks and lofts. Want a bookcase bed or beds with storage? We've got them. Upholstered beds, good to go. Save big on day beds, too. Or go full bedroom with so many awesome looks at super sale prices at the Rooms to Go Kids Bed Sale. Going on now. Here we go. This is how legends are made. Chevy Silverado, a new Silverado HD. Choose your own path with the number one best-selling retail full-size pickup and see where it takes you. Find new roads. It's Chevy truck season. Get 0% financing plus make no monthly payments for 90 days on all 2023 Silverado 1500 pickups or get 2250 total cash allowance on a 2023 Silverado with a turbo high output engine. Chevy drives Texas. Find new roads. From all of us at Sunshine Cottage. Twenty-three Flambeau pre-party and people are lining the river. Or just lining the river, <laughs> lining the road, getting ready for tonight's parade. And I've got to tell you, I've got I've got something on my mind here. Just how great people have been. I mean, people offering us cascarones. I had a, a guy offer me pepperoni pizza. Yes. Uh, in years past for the Flambeau, people have thrown me a beer when it's all done. So I mean, this is this is 
San Antonio's community yes. get together right here. And, and you know what I just said a moment ago when we were when we went to break was that you know sometimes you're online and you just see a lot of vicious comments and there's so much so much vitriol out there and we talk about how divided our country is but then you actually come out to San Antonio and what you see is unity. Yeah. Different people from the different streets backgrounds come together. Come out to the streets of San Antonio and that's yes. what you see. Yes. Yeah. And they love it and they love you. People will, complete strangers will say hello to you, shake your that's hand. Great. It's just nice to get a yeah. nice feeling. You just totally get in the mood when it's you're It's very out nice. And by the way, I'm a little envious of Jen and John Paul because they get to be out with the people, with the people, with the crowd, getting people rowdy. And so let's check in with them and see what they're up to. John Paul. Steve, Stephanie, you guys gave me grief earlier in the week because of my other shirt. I tried to stand out again. I thought I was the best dress. I was sadly <laughs> mistaken when I met Steve Summers with the awesome suit. Tell us about the outfit, man. This outfit was made for me by Javier at Divide and Conquer Denim and Leather right downtown here in Broadway. The guy's fantastic. I had him make it for me just for Fiesta. Awesome stuff. So this is not your typical suit jacket. This is a Guayabera suit jacket. It is a Guayabera. You can see the, the pleats right here. It's a Guayabera suit jacket. He made it personally uh, for me, and he can do it for anybody that comes in. The standard has been set, and I fell well short of that. But we also have some amazing-looking women. Put them over there. Viva Fiesta! Ladies, you guys are all here, and you're a special group. Tell me why you're all together here today. We're the class of 1987 from Incarnate Word, along with our daughters and sisters and friends from different classes. And we like to hang out and celebrate Fiesta together, and we've been hanging out a long time since uh, we started at Incarnate Word High School. That's amazing! And you're obviously KSAT loyal viewers, right? Yeah. All right, we saw that amazing suit, but look at these hats over here. John Paul, come on, come join us over here, John Paul. Okay, so tell me, Cindy, about this hat you have. This is a hat that I created for Fiesta. I wore it at the San Antonio Women's uh, contact, Hat Contest this year. Also, we are with the Red Hat Society. The chapter is the Dazzling Damas. Every year we come out to Fiesta Flambeau Parade and the Day Parade, and we bling up hats. Uh, hats look absolutely amazing. I really want to know how long it took you to make that, or did you get it custom made somewhere, or did you do that by yourself? I made it myself. I bought the uh, sombrero hat from um, Am uh, Amos, and then I decorated it with all the different things, added little sombreros that I also got at Amos. And then everything you see up here, either Travis Wholesale, I'm sorry, I'm giving them a shout, and Amos, my two favorite places I love to go to. It took me four hours to create this beautiful creation. Every minute was worth it. It looks absolutely amazing. You got some great medals on there. You spot that Adam Kasky one. Speaking of amazing medals, oh, look yeah. at this. I'm going to get out of the way. You don't need to see me or my shirt anymore. But look at all the medals you got here. So will you have a favorite on there? The Spurs, San Antonio Living, I watch that all the time. Channel 12, of course. The, uh, what is So it? many, so many. I just have a oh lot to, to enjoy. Texas Eats. Okay, Texas Eats. Right shout right out to Elder. Yes. Our dazzling damas as well, because we have a Queen Frances that's our queen. She's not able to be here with us because she always attends with the events and stuff. And uh, this is what represents our dazzling damas. We do a lot of fundraising. We do a lot of uh, nonprofit. Uh, nonprofit work for elderly, for the GED program, the PELS. Uh, Vistido Rojo, the American Heart Association, and we all participate and do a little bit of everything. Oh my we goodness. donate a lot of our time and a lot of money towards everything. They Thank do you. it all and Thank they look you. amazing while they're doing it. Yes. Awesome stuff. Thanks so much, guys. Yes, Steve, Stephania, back to you guys. Oh, wow. Okay, I got my picture taken with those ladies earlier, and uh, they're awesome. Yeah, they, they do great work. Yeah, I noticed, noticed that the lady with the biggest hat, she's the one sitting down because you have to have balance. Yeah to carry that hat. Balance and neck strength. This is true. Don't forget about the neck strength. I won't. It's vital. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back after this. It's time for a Fiesta History Trivia Moment. Who was responsible for the founding of the Fiesta Flambeau Parade? Was it A, Henry Ford, B, Lila Cockrell, or C, Reynolds Andrix? The answer, after the break.
sizzle that brings people together. New carne asada street tacos and cabana bowls. For a limited time, only at Taco Cabana. Hello, San Antonio. My name is Natalie Gomez, your 2023 Reina Linda. When you think of Fiesta, you think of vibrant colors and great food. But most importantly, Fiesta is about cultures of San Antonio, about making memories with friends and family. We have been visiting schools, spreading the importance of education. As La Reina Linda, you have helped me raise over $100,000 for scholarships for college-bound students. Viva Fiesta, and don't forget, con Gómez son familia. Gómez lo fights! Gómez lo fights! What do you call a local hospital that serves families from across the world? The first and only hospital in San Antonio, solely dedicated to the care of children and expectant mothers, grounded in faith and backed by a world-class health system. And what do you call a hospital that's so much more than a hospital? You know us as the Children's Hospital of San Antonio, but now we have a new name that better reflects who we are and the purpose we pursue every day. Introducing Christus Children's. Throughout my life, I've always been inspired by people who are determined, the ones who rise to the occasion with everything they've got. I wanted to celebrate these people with a beer designed for them. Our beer is brewed with organic grains, is under 100 calories per can, is super low in carbs, and tastes fantastic. Whatever you're after, cheers to the chase. said to be roaming these woods. And if you listen carefully, you can hear it. And sometimes you can see its tracks. And every now and then, you get a quick glimpse of it. Grandpa telling his stories again. The 2023 Toyota Tundra. Better trucks make better stories. Toyota, let's go places. Taco Cabana has more choices for less. Flautas, taco duos, double crunch pizzas, all for under $5. Plus many choices for under $3. Favorites under five, only at Taco Cabana. Who was responsible for the founding of the Fiesta Flambeau Parade? The answer is C, Reynolds Andrix. with Suzanne of Toyota, Texas, and Suzanne, we all know where Tundra comes from. Everybody knows that. You see a Tundra anywhere in the world, we know it came from our hometown here. What have you added to the lineup now? We've added the Sequoia. So now, any place in the world you see a Sequoia that was built right here exclusively at Toyota Motor Manufacturing, Texas. So you're in Ireland or Japan, you see a 2023 Sequoia? Built right here. And how many uh, people work at the plant? What goes into building these vehicles? Well, we have nearly 10,000 members on our campus between our facility and all of our on-site suppliers who are part of the team who build these fabulous trucks and SUVs. So now you're into the SUVs, not just the Tundras. How many vehicles do you think have you rolled off the lot? You know, crazy you ask that, but on Monday, we built our three millionth truck Monday night. What a celebration for us. It's hard to believe there are three million trucks <laughs> that, uh, that have come out of San Antonio. And how long have you been here on the, uh, on the south side of San Antonio? We broke ground 20 years ago. And so this year, we're not just celebrating the Sequoia being the vehicle of Fiesta, yay, but we're celebrating 20 years since we broke ground. And it's just been an amazing experience for us to be here in San Antonio and part of the fabric of this community. With San Antonians on the line and everywhere working for Toyota, it's fantastic. And I believe, you, I mean, I think it's, what, $50 million a year to local nonprofits, is that right? We've donated $50 million since we broke ground here. And uh, all sorts of folks that we want to interact with to make a difference, especially when it comes to workforce development. It's a mission we believe in. All right, well, you know, this calls for a celebration being 20 years. Three, two, one. Viva Fiesta with me. Three, two, one. Viva, Viva Fiesta! Fiesta!
from all of us at Sunshine Cottage. At Papa John's, we start with better. Like our fresh, never frozen dough made from six simple ingredients. And our dough can save you dough. Get two or more Papa Perry's favorites for just $6.99 each. Order now on the app from Papa John's. Shop everyday low prices on a huge selection of home furnishings at Living Spaces. Find over 200 living rooms with sofas starting at $350. Over 100 bedrooms with queen beds starting at $150. And over 100 dining rooms with dining sets starting at $395. Also discover clearance deals that are up to 60% off. Plus get special financing for 60 months on any purchase with your good credit. And get free next day shipping. Save big every day only at Living Spaces. Living Spaces. Now open in Cibolo. This is how legends are made. Chevy Silverado, a new Silverado HD. Choose your own path with the number one best-selling retail full-size pickup and see where it takes you. Find new roads. It's Chevy truck season. Get 0% financing plus make no monthly payments for 90 days on all 2023 Silverado 1500 pickups or get 2250 total cash allowance on a 2023 Silverado with a turbo high output engine. Chevy drives Texas. Find new roads. Kickapoo Lucky Eagle Casino Hotel in Eagle Pass is the premier entertainment destination in Texas. You can share a meal with friends at Azul Restaurant, dance to your favorite songs played live at K-Pasa Lounge, and win a jackpot on one of our over 3,000 slot machines. For details, visit LuckyEagleTexas.com or find us on social at Lucky Eagle Texas. Caliber Auto Care is the leading auto service provider that's changing the game with consistency, transparency, and exceptional customer service. At Caliber, we're committed to improving the automotive industry and serving our communities with honesty and integrity. With highly skilled technicians, state-of-the-art equipment, and a passion for excellence, we're dedicated to keeping your vehicle and your day running smoothly. Come experience auto care of a higher caliber today and see why we're the trusted choice for drivers everywhere. Caliber Auto Care, restoring the rhythm of your life. In a league of dreams and opportunities, there's only one chance to be a champion. The road to the 2023 XFL Championship ends in San Antonio. The best of the North versus the best of the South. Which team will triumph? Take it to the house. Show with the burner. Interception. Touchdown. The 2023 XFL Championship game, Saturday, May 13th at the Alamo Dome. Tickets on sale now. Visit Ticketmaster or XFL.com slash tickets. At Papa John's, we start with better. Like our fresh, never frozen dough made from six simple ingredients. And our dough can save you dough. Get two or more Papa Perry's favorites for just $6.99 each. Order now on the app from Papa John's. From all of us at AFFCU. Fiesta Flambeau Pre-Party 2023. We are coming to you live from along the parade route here on Avenue E. Something very special the Fiesta Flambeau Association started last year is a Native American blessing. Last year we saw the United Pow Wow of San Antonio start the parade with the blessing right in front of our cameras. And actually this year they're going to do the same thing, but they're going to do the blessing right in front of of the Alamo. So here's the thing. It actually happened a few hours ago, but before we show you that, first we're going to give you a little bit of background behind this new tradition. So we're really excited this year that we're going to be able to do uh, an American Indian blessing at the Alamo. The blessing is there to not only cleanse the area that we're in uh, and to be thankful for all the sacrifices that have been done over the years, but to help the, uh, in healing process as well, answering for the Creator's blessing. The whole idea about having the uh, parades and the celebration for Fiesta all centered around the Alamo and, and the heroes that were there and the, the battles that went on, and, and it's a commemorative type thing. And so what better place to do that than the center of the city of San Antonio where uh, all those things came together why, why our celebration even began. 
this is a shell uh, that we've normally used in all blessings, and we have uh, what we call white sage, the smoke going up to the crater above, and we use our eagle feathers as well to help that blessing because the eagle is very important in our culture, a bird that flies the most, the highest uh, in our belief, and so he can carry the blessings from the creator above and our prayers and thoughts to the creator as well. We've also invited other cultures to be there as well, uh, the Canary Islanders, the Mission Indians, uh, the German population, a few of those to come down as well. And so we're hoping that by uh, representation of other groups as well and sharing that, our culture with everyone, it'll be a great day. We're hoping that everybody will have a great time at the parade, viewing all the, the different floats, the entries, the bands coming from all over. I, rem I remember last year it taking place in front of our cameras. This is what happened this year, about five o'clock. So two and a half hours ago, this was the Native American blessing in front of the Alamo. And you can see they invited a number of the different cultures that are synonymous with San Antonio. Yes, they, they just mentioned them, the, the Germans and also right, the Mexican-Americans. Well, you can look at, you can, if, if we go back and show that. But it's beautiful, isn't it? When you have, again, we talk about the unity all around San Antonio and everything that makes San Antonio unique. You walk down our beautiful streets and you see just a mix of different architecture, um, foods, all of these things, street names. And here we have it, right here, just all of these cultures together celebrating what we are. Yeah, it's a Native American blessing, but as he said, it's it's really a healing process. Mm -hmm. It's bringing all cultures together, and what better place than the Alamo, which is the center of San Antonio, for this to take place. And so you Wonderfully can see, symbolic, yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, wonderfully symbolic, and I'm, I'm very happy to see all the cultures that are represented there, just right in front of the Alamo. A beautiful amalgam of everything that is San Antonio. And we'll be right back after this. When the springs break out, no one can get out, so we're there to help them out. Our vehicles are like a warehouse on wheels. Any repair, we're going to get it done right then and there. Here at Precision, we can fix any, make any model, usually same day. Precision door service, a name you can trust. She got another Wi-Fi device. Our network can't handle that. What? It can't? The router's gonna blow. And what does that mean? We're all gonna die. We're all gonna die? No! Not all Wi-Fi can be Spectrum Wi-Fi. What's going on in there? Spectrum Advanced Wi-Fi can handle up to 200 devices. Goodbye, sweet world. Get Wi-Fi you can rely on. Get Spectrum One. How do we turn discoveries into life-changing care? At UT Health San Antonio, we do everything it takes. Our research leads the way to develop new therapies, new ways to care for you. From fighting disease to making breakthroughs that save lives, we do everything it takes in our relentless pursuit of the healthiest you. UT Health San Antonio. Savings rates are on the rise at AFFCU, and we have options for everyone. You'll earn more now with our all-new inflation-busting high-yield savings account. Or pick a term from six months to seven years and lock in your earnings with a certificate account. No matter your savings goal, we'll help you get there faster. Learn more at goaffcu.com slash earn more. Or stop by your nearest AFFCU Financial Center today. Hello, San Antonio. My name is Natalie Gomez, your 2023 Reina Linda. When you think of Fiesta, you think of vibrant colors and great food. But most importantly, Fiesta is about cultures of San Antonio, about making memories with friends and family. We have been visiting schools, spreading the importance of education. As La Reina Linda, you have helped me raise over $100,000 for scholarships for college-bound students. Viva Fiesta, and don't forget, con Gomez son familia. Gomez lo fights! Gomez lo fights! Gomez lo fights! 
thinking about selling your vehicle? Get a real offer today at Gunn. Just like our real prices, we give you a real offer for your vehicle. Good for 10 days or 1,000 miles, and we guarantee it in writing. You don't have to buy anything from Gunn. We just really need more pre-owned inventory. We'll give you top dollar and write you a check on the spot. Visit GunnAuto.com today for locations. Selling your vehicle to Gunn means a real offer. Guaranteed. Real. Simple. Throughout my life, I've always been inspired by people who are determined. I wanted to celebrate these people with a beer designed for them. Whatever you're after, cheers to the chase. Welcome back to Fiesta Flambeau, this pre-party. And if this is the pre-party, my gosh. Oh, yeah, we're yeah. ready. Yeah, we're ready. We're ready we to go. We are ready. Now, we know that this is uh, full of amazing events, bringing people together from all walks of life. In fact, what started as just a tiny little carnival for people with disabilities has grown into multiple events and an entire royal court that you're going to see tonight. Yeah, the court is made up of a handful of kids and young adults with special needs, like 14-year-old Sophia. My daughter is amazing. My name's Sophia, and I'm a special queen. We would prep her, okay, you may not win to be queen, you may be princess. And she said, no, I'm not going to be princess, I'm going to be the queen. And I'm like, okay, well, you're going to have to work hard on it. As you can see, Sophia has no fear. She's like, vote for me, and she would hand out her little card, and she's like, vote for me, vote for me, and they would be like, why? And she would say, because I want to help the people in wheelchairs to go to Fiesta. Prior to the accident, as a parent, you never thought about, I never thought about that. We were in a car accident in the year 2019, and Sophia suffered a TBI, traumatic brain injury, and a right brain stroke. We were in the hospital 101 days, and when we left the hospital, they told us she would never eat again, talk again, or walk again. To have a doctor tell you that your daughter would never be the same again was one of the hardest things we had to hear. But we knew, deep down inside, that my daughter was going to do it. Before this, she was a very bossy little 10-year-old girl. She was a, a people person. She always volunteered to do things with people. Fiesta was one of her favorite things to do. She was born and raised on Fiesta. What's your favorite thing about Fiesta? Checking on a stick. She's like, I, I want to go to Fiesta, Mom. And so we were like, we don't know if we can take her because we don't know if it's going to be accessible or not. So when we started working with Melanie and Lisa, a part of Disability SA. Disability SA is a local nonprofit organization that works to educate, advance, engage, and strengthen the disability community here in San Antonio. All we want to do is make sure that people with disabilities have the same opportunities as everyone else. We need to make sure that these individuals look just as great as any other Fiesta royalty out there. And so reflecting on our coronation this year, we shine. Her cape is all about her personality um, and we got, we got to get her a great dress and she got to pick out her dress and uh, unfortunately with the accident she has a lot of scarring on her face so we had a professional makeup artist come and, and she was like, Mom, I'm beautiful again. I'm like, baby, you've always been beautiful. But she's like, no, I'm really beautiful. And so for her to feel that sense of security again made us feel wonderful. The court members look amazing and fabulous and look exactly as they should, as if they belong in this community, um, this Fiesta community. We want San Antonio to be the place, the destination where everyone knows that accessibility is everywhere, inclusion is everywhere, and everybody is special. All right, right now we want you to turn your attention to the sky as the Air Force Reserve Command C-5M Super Galaxy aircraft, the largest aircraft in the world, 
honors this year's Fiesta Flambeau Parade. Everyone was super excited to yeah. see it, to hear it. I mean, you get goosebumps seeing this thing. Our it's pilot huge. tonight, yes, our pilot tonight is Colonel James J.C. Miller. He's commander of the 433rd Operations Group assigned to the 433rd Airlift Wing, also known as the Alamo Wing, and he's actually was flying out of Joint uh, Joint Base San Antonio Lackland. When you look at the plane, it's huge, and you, you get goosebumps because it's you're used to seeing commercial planes, right? Yeah. Okay, I took notes on this thing because I've seen it before, and I'm like, this thing is big. I want to see how big. Okay. okay. A regular commercial plane is 130 to 160 feet long. This thing is 247 feet and 10 inches. So it's like almost double. Yeah. It's like the shack of airplanes. The, yes. The Shaquille O'Neal of airplanes. By the yes. way, the, of course, the Alamo <laughs> Wing is comprised of 2,300 reserve citizen airmen who work in our communities, and when called, they provide combat-ready forces to fly, fight, and win. And when the uh, flyover starts, mm -hmm. that means it's almost Fiesta Flambeau go time. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back as the parade begins. I'm Annika Chapa, Fiesta Charro Queen. And you're watching Fiesta 2023 on KSAT 12. From all of us at Sunshine Cottage. I'm Amanda with Expo Home Improvement. And Alex, are our jacuzzi bath remodels really as easy as one, two, three? Absolutely. First, give us a call for that free estimate and we'll bring the showroom directly to you. Second, we'll help with the perfect design. And third, install your new shower right in as little as one day. My team is providing 20% off your entire bath or shower project. Wow, ready to love your bath or shower again? Then scan, call, or visit us today at expohomeimprovement.com. This is how legends are made. Chevy Silverado and new Silverado HD. Choose your own path with the number one best-selling retail full-size pickup and see where it takes you. Find new roads. It's Chevy truck season. Get 0% financing plus make no monthly payments for 90 days on all 2023 Silverado 1500 pickups or get 2250 total cash allowance on a 2023 Silverado with a turbo high output engine. Chevy drives Texas. Find new roads. The Center for Healthcare Services has provided mental health support and substance use solutions to Bear County for over 55 years and are always excited to celebrate the fiesta season. Through 80 plus programs and over 1,000 compassionate, caring staff members, they're at the center of mental wellness for our community. The center serves Bear County residents regardless of economic status or income level, and they want to remind you that your mental health matters. Fiesta! Every child deserves a chance to achieve their best. For nearly 40 years, SJRC Texas has been a safe place for kids and teens to survive and thrive, providing hope and healing resources to youth who have been abused, abandoned, or neglected. SJRC Texas needs your support to provide a safe, loving future for all our kids. Together, we can change lives for good. Health care. At Baptist Health System, these two words are better together. We believe caring for the complexities of the brain and spine begins with working together. It's in our award-winning stroke care, nationally recognized for diagnosing and treating strokes fast, and our robotics-assisted surgeries, known for precision and shortened recoveries. Health care is better together. Find personalized care across greater San Antonio at baptisthealthsystem.com slash neuro together. So, what are you sipping? Whether it's our freshly ground coffee to wake you up or an icy Polar Pop cup or froster to keep you going. The Sip and Save drink subscription at Circle K keep you refreshed every day. Join today and grab any size drink. Just sign up with your mobile number when you check out. Start sipping and saving today. Limited time offer at participating locations.
of 2023. It's been so exciting. We're joining you live here from the parade route where you can see people are getting up. The sun hasn't quite left us yet, so it's not time for to, to see this beautiful parade of lights, but definitely people are ready. That's when you really can appreciate the Fiesta Flambeau. Yes. When it's dark, when the you know bands are coming by and they've got their special illuminated you know outfits on and all kinds of great things. By the way, our Adam Kasky was at the beginning of the parade. Now he's here. Which is kind of over by San Antonio College. Now he's joined us over on Avenue E, a little closer <laughs> to downtown. Biting his lip. Adam. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, it is electric already down here. We don't need the sun be down and the lights come on. We got our kazoo crew. Yeah. The energy already, and we haven't had one float go by. Look at the depth down the street here, stretching all the way down toward the Alamo, and then we come around here. Viva Fiesta! Oh, we got a new Fiesta comer. It's okay. I won't be too loud. I promise. Maybe you want this to hold? Okay. Viva Fiesta! Oh, you want to hit me with it? Yeah! <laughs> oh, I love the people out here. I love the crowd. It's always a party. Viva! 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 Oh, back to you upstairs. I like that. I think we need to get a picture taken of you with that baby, and it can say baby's first casky roll. <laughs> I love that. I will, even though she wasn't too excited right there when she. <laughs> she, well, she, she was excited once she got the egg, and then she was like, okay. She's like, oh no, yeah. I don't like what's coming out yeah. of this. She That's got adorable. some help. She All got right. some help. <laughs> so now, you know, one of the best parts about this parade is when the sun goes down, the lights come out. Yeah, and it's known as one of the nation's biggest. Illuminated night parades, all thanks to the entries, of course, and everyone puts on their glow sticks. They get them out, they get the lights going, they dress up their clothes, instruments, and floats, but not quite like what you're about to see. No, so check this out, because one Fiesta Royalty in particular is really looking to show up and really stand out. Check it out. <laughs> All right, I'm here at Image Avenue where I'm shopping for the Flambeau Parade. I'm here with the Reina Linda. She's gonna help me out. Natalie Gomez, boy, yeah, you never take that crown off, do you? I told you, shower and sleep in it. Okay, all right, so, finding a lot of great things here. Yes, Image Avenue has it all. There's just too many options here, Natalie. But, don't worry, we've got the fantastic option for you. Let me go show you, let's okay, check let's it out. Okay, let's check it out. David, Phil, you have your sunglasses? Yeah, Natalie, what's going We're on? We're gonna need them. Let's do this. Oh, wow, Natalie. I told you. Oh my God. Phil, you have these awesome. in the store? Absolutely. Oh my gosh, Phil, this is incredible. What are we looking at? Oh, this is a beautiful garment that's made with plastic optic fibers, woven with synthetic fibers, since creating different uh, lights, single, flashing, just different colors. Beautiful. I see the beautiful different colors. Natalie, you're going to look great in tonight's flambeau parade. Oh, wait till you see it. But you're wearing a jacket in the parade? Oh, no, I'm a queen. Phil's made me a dress. Okay, I've got to see you in the dress, and Phil, I've got to try that jacket on. Let's do it. Oh my gosh, Natalie. What do you think? This is so cool. You look great. You're gonna look fantastic in tonight's flambeau It's parade. gonna be incredible, isn't it? Oh my gosh, so everybody needs to look for Natalie in the Ray Feo court in tonight's flambeau parade. This is such fiesta fun. Oh my gosh, viva fiesta! Viva! Uh, but David, I'm gonna need my crown back. <sighs> okay. Sorry. I, he, he's always so glum because when he, he doesn't loses. Wanna get, once you wear the crown, honey, you don't want to give that up. Yeah, but it's not his. I, I know, but, just saying. but he likes the way it feels and looks on him. Just All be right. happy with the luminescent 
jacket he had on. You know what we got to talk about now? What? Food. Cause, because it's Absolutely. a huge part. It's a huge part of Fiesta. What, and that's the thing. Like, you walk downtown, you drive through downtown during smell Fiesta. It. I don't care whether the parade's going on, whether the parade's four hours away. You smell all the different smells mm. that are out there, and it's it's it gets the appetite going, that's for sure. Jen Tobias Strusky joins us now with a food search. I think John Paul's also with her, guys. Hey, what's going on? I said it earlier. We got the hottest party in the 210 and the KSAT Insiders Party. We also have the hottest grills with some amazing food. Check this out. It's not Fiesta unless you're grubbing. Talk to me about what we got on the grill, brother. What do you got working right now? Oh, we got some good asada tacos, mini tacos, some tacos al pastor, chicken fajita tacos, grilled onions, jalapenos, and uh, chicken on the stick. I want pestas, name it. We got it all. This guy's been putting in the work. He's keeping every... Shout out to my father and Jordy uh, and Estela and my brother Javier Ramirez. Culebra Bee Market number one. There we are. What about your mama? And my mama. There I love you. you. Go. Don't forget mom. Don't forget mom. These guys have been working hard keeping fed all the food's amazing as you mentioned it's great, it's great, it's great out here sorry sorry no you're good brother it's, it's your show great. man it's, it's your great. show and then as you mentioned fan favorite chicken on the stick in the back but after you get the main course done and wash it down with some ice cold adult beverages jen has got you covered on what you want next Mira, look at this okay we got some funnel cakes here everybody's having a great time i do need a chicken on a stick john paul so i hope you'll go find me one back there but yeah the tacos are a hit the food's a hit and by the way get over here v so v here made this crown show them your crown there you go yes all made of paper I love making these during Fiesta season. Jen is sporting one today, and she's had this one for quite some time, so. I've had it for a few years, right? Yes. Yeah, so I saw you, and I'm like, listen, I'm still repping this beautiful crown, and tell them your business name. Forever Petals by V. I make flower crowns. I do backdrops for your next Fiesta event, so be sure to follow me on Facebook. You did the backdrop here, too, at the Insider Party, and everybody's taking pictures and loving it. It's been a hit, and I love all of the photos. I can't wait to see more of them on Fiesta's and KSAT's website. Okay, do you want to share this with me? Sure. Yes, okay, you go first, and we are going to toss it back to Stephania and Steve. All right, John Paul, you got some tacos for me. Oh, All right, look. wait, 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 wait. Did I, wait, did I hear something, John Paul? Did I hear that it's Jen's birthday? Is it Jen? It is not Jen's birthday, but we're going to party like it. Oh, I thought she said Jen's birthday. I thought she said it was Jen's tacos. birthday. Jen? Oh, she said I'm sporting one. You oh, thought she said I'm 41. I'm not oh, 41 yet. No. no, no, no. I didn't think you were 41. I thought she said it was your birthday, and I was like, oh, well, why are we Very doing? Yes. I know, yeah. Please Go right to that. You we'll guys are working. I was going to say Viva Jen. You know, I didn't hear the 41 part, so I just, you know. Okay. So party? since it's not your birthday, save us some of that funnel cake because it we looks will. delicious. All right. It's got your name on it, Stephanie. All right, John Thank Paul. You. I know you were going to say something, John Paul, before no, I interrupted. I'm sorry. I was going to say I'm going to leave the work to you guys. I. I'm busy, obviously, and I, I'm going to need some time to finish this. Yeah. You guys enjoy. That's Have a, fun without the food, guys. That's a good thing about your <laughs> outfit, John Paul, is you could spill on it and nobody would know. Exactly. <laughs> Just some, some character. Oh. That's character. Character, exactly. He's going to keep that shirt and wear it on a regular day. I think he should. It's a wonderful shirt. Yeah, there you go. We'll be right back after this. Las Palapas drive through Fiesta from April 20th through the 30th. Featuring Fiesta favorites, chicken on a stick, nachos, margaritas to go, and many more. Las Palapas drive through Fiesta. There's a powerful beast said to be roaming these woods. And if you listen carefully, you can hear it. And sometimes you can see its tracks. Every now and then, you get a quick glimpse of it. Grandpa telling his stories again. The 2023 Toyota Tundra. Better trucks make better stories. Toyota. Let's go places. Throughout my life, I've always been inspired by people who are determined. The ones who rise to the occasion with everything they've got. I wanted to celebrate these people with a beer designed for them. Our beer is brewed with organic grains. Is under 100 calories per can, is super low in carbs, and tastes fantastic. 
Whatever you're after, cheers to the chase. Hecho en Las Palapas. From fresh lines to our premium tequilas and mixes. Classic and signature margaritas. Meet me for margaritas at Las Palapas. Welcome to Fiesta 2023. This is the Flambeau pre-party right now, and we are so excited to have you. If you're just joining us right now, we, the party is just getting started. So absolutely. So grab something to drink, sit down, watch us, and chill. Yeah, absolutely. We're just getting started here along, we're along Avenue E here, kind of a new location, and uh, we're going to get started with the Vanguard, actually, for the parade right now. You see the unofficial vehicle, or excuse me, the official vehicle of Fiesta Toyota, and this is the United San Antonio powwow. The president is Erwin J. DeLuna, who we heard earlier. He's a Navajo. He, he uh, did the blessing in front of the Alamo that you saw along with Calvin Osif, who's also Navajo. Yeah, and this is part of blessing the entire parade. You know, this group started in 1998, and, and it's really the mission of this group is pretty awesome because what they try to do is advance the health and education for Native Americans. This is an organization that continues to work with other Native groups in San Antonio, like the American Indians in Texas, the Spanish Colonial Missions, and the Lapan Apache Tribe of Texas. Yeah, and the Native American outfits that you see that they are wearing, uh, you know, and right there, I talked to Calvin actually last year, and it was much warmer yes. last year than it is this year, and I said, this, this, uh, your outfit is beautiful and wonderful. Those are actually eagle feathers oh, that he okay. has in the actual outfit that he's wearing itself, and you saw him doing the, the, the Native American dance in front of the Alamo. He is doing it now as he uh, passes in front of our cameras. That is, I believe, Calvin Osef, who is the vice president of the United San Antonio Pow Wow. Hey, this is something that they've actually been doing in Fiesta since 2005. And this is, they really, these are traditions that are passed down to their children and grandchildren so that the culture can be maintained and enriched. And now we're going to go, look at that banner right there. That is the Sam Houston High School. That's the uh, JROTC. JROTC, yeah. Yeah, the, it's the drill teams and the color guard team. They've received numerous awards and they're in really great demand. So um, it's just awesome that they're a part of this parade. Yeah, absolutely. The first Sergeant Daniel Halford and Glenn Bain helping us out with the San Antonio High School JROTC. And we have more participants right now making their way down here. The route, you know, this is a route that's 2.6 miles. And you see how it looks full here when you're looking at the camera from this angle? It's full everywhere. Oh, yeah. And, and, and you know, we saw people, actually, I saw people Thursday night <laughs> who were camping out along the river, you know, just sitting in their lawn chairs, it's taking about, shifts, yes. making sure they got the best spot along this, this parade route. Uh, yeah, and it's all about when families do this, too, this is very much a family tradition. And you, usually a lot of families go to the same spot year after year, and it's just a really big deal. Yeah. All right, All right now, now we have, we have the Shriners. One. This is the Alzafar Shriners. Established in 1899 as a fraternity, 1921 with its philanthropy, the mascot, as you might guess, Fezzi the Bear, because they wear the big Fez <laughs> hats on. So Fezzi the Bear, and they also have, of course, they're known for the Shriner Clowns. <laughs> As you see some of them go by, the Al Safar Shriners always and, and they do doing such great work. And they, they really do the Lord's work here because they're a charity and they help a, a network of children's hospitals. We're talking 21 children's hospitals, and they raise $10 million a year in order to keep these, uh, you know, so children who, who are sick get the care that they need. Yeah, and I love the fact that they were in, like, one of those old-school wagons. Yeah! 
It's actually, it's actually, uh, uh, you know, it's actually one of the floats out here, but they've got a wagon that just takes them down the route. I love that. And right here you have another banner. It's a San Antonio Armed Forces Parade from here from San Antonio, Texas. And what they do is support all war, war veterans, communities, seniors, and families who, re, who need their help all year round, especially during the Christmas and the Thanksgiving holidays. But, you know, we can't get enough clowns here. Look yeah, at you that. can't. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've got some clown stragglers there that are, that are that are uh is falling a little bit behind but you know as long as they don't pop up right next to me I'm yeah fine. you know they're just clowning it up. they're <laughs> clowning around all right by the way we want to get back to the san antonio armed forces parade association members of this organization include veterans who have served in world war ii vietnam korea iraq desert storm afghanistan they have come from all branches of the armed forces involved in many community projects and parades in san antonio and surrounding cities and i love the fact that people are giving them such a big applause as they go by. This is, after all, Military City, USA. Yeah. And it's not just people who come here when they're in their service. A lot of people end up retiring here in San Antonio, and you know why? Because this is very much a city that embraces people, but especially our veterans here. Absolutely. And yeah, I heard some people yelling, "Show us your shoes!" Yes. And one of the thing. veterans pulled out his cowboy boot or his combat boots and showed him oh, the combat boots as he went by. So that's so that. great. Loving that. I believe this is the Civil Air Patrol from Randolph, Stinson, and Lackland units. I believe that's what we're looking at right there. And they have the big 75 right there also because yeah, the this 75th is... 75th year of the Flambeau Parade. Yes, yes. So the Civil Air Patrol is America's premier public service organization, and they carry out emergency services and disaster relief missions, not just here, but really nationwide. You know, it has 56,000 members, and these are people who are selfless. They devote their time, their energy, and, and their expertise towards the community yeah and I just love the applause that you hear from the crowd as uh, these youngsters and the veterans go by and look at the that's that's the case at grandstand the case at insiders grandstand with the glow sticks love that the glow sticks yes I can't wait until it look how it looked to see how it looks in maybe an hour or so when yeah. it's even darker out it's gonna look even better it's gonna look fabulous some more of the Vanguard that is going by right now. As you see, uh, this might be the 149th Fighter Wing Texas Air National Guard yes. that is going by, established in 1947 to produce the finest airmen for global engagements and domestic operations, supporting our families and serving communities. We are Texans serving Texans. Yeah, and what's great is that they actually did a lot of COVID work when we were in, in that uh, pandemic. They went across the state to help people uh, during those efforts. Right now, we are looking at the Guardians of the Children from Vaughn Army, Texas, and they help victims of child abuse. If you could think about that, I mean, this is a nonprofit group that does wonderful work. They give donations to other children advocacy agencies. Uh, they work with Child Safe and law enforcement agencies to encourage children to testify without fear. Kids need protection, and this group, this nonprofit, does that. Absolutely. And next, Next, we're seeing the Vietnam Veterans of America Alamo chapter, number 366, established in 1984 to further veterans' issues. And again, you hear the crowd celebrating our veterans. They're celebrating for every group that goes by, but when they see veterans, that's when the crowd really goes wild. Yeah, see the, the guy's taking his shoe off. The guy that's in the uh, cab of the pickup took his shoe off, and he's showing them. You got to show the yeah, shoes. You, know, you got to show the shoes. They're veterans. They don't want to necessarily, you know, lift up the leg. You know, they're, they took their shoes off and are showing but, them. But they'll do it. They'll yeah, do it for the crowd. Love it. They, they were established. They've actually been part of Fiesta since 1991, and they actually closed Fiesta with an all-veteran memorial service on the very last day of fiesta inspiration for life is the next group that you saw there their mission statement inspiration for life is a community-based organization and media outlet dedicated to being a community media voice to all and providing community outreach with all aspects of life resources for all demographics in san antonio and to those around the world we impact in media and giving back 
And here we have the Military Order of the Purple Heart, Alamo Chapter 1836. And this is uh, a group that's specifically for Purple Heart recipients. Uh, all members who are part of this had to have been awarded a Purple Heart. I mean, these are people who were wounded in combat. And the Alamo Chapter here is actually the largest chapter in the entire country. We have 800 members right here. Yeah, and, you see, and as they get down here closer, you can see the fact that they are as well receiving such a great such a great ovation as the military order of the purple heart and you're going to hear it here momentarily yeah there you hear the crowd the crowd going Thanking wild yes these purple heart recipients for their sacrifice for their country yes and we're always happy to have them home And you see him there. If you if you see the next truck right there, it's a looks like we have veterans there from Iraq, from Vietnam, also you see, Korea. You see members of the crowd standing up, taking yes. their hats off as these veterans go to, by. To pay respect to the service. Absolutely. Also, we're taking our time to wave to them too. Yeah, <laughs> I like to wave at the people in the yeah. in the parade as they go by. I mean, we're even closer this year than we are in years past, so why not? Nice. Yeah. Uh, also, at this next banner that you see here is from the Defense Language Institute, the Eng English Language Center. I mean, we're still talking about all of these different military groups, and, and they help our military communicate with other groups internationally. Uh, they provide worldwide English language training and resident commercial immersion to enable the U.S. military and our international partners to communicate in support of our mission whenever we are in, in different parts of the world and obviously look at that look at that yeah. look at that little kids Absolutely. can't wait to get there and, and, and shake their hands you notice the different flags are from the different countries that have come to the defense language institute here in san antonio 3,000 students annually go through the Defense Language Institute English Language Center. Uh, it, you know, it's just one of those things that the Department of Defense does and one of those things that happens in San Antonio, mm -hmm. but you don't hear about it. You no. don't really think about it until things like this where they are honored, so it's great. And up here we have Hill Country Tractor. You know what I'm thinking, that Kenny Chesney song? She thinks my tractor sexy. Okay, is don't make Kenny, me sing. Is that Kenny Chesney? I think so. Oh, I don't know. Well, somebody okay. correct me. I know I'm going to hear from somebody <laughs> on Twitter if it's not. No. Oh, is it Luke Bryan? Okay, I don't know. My producer's telling me that she thinks it's Luke Bryan. I'm just it pretty sure matter. it's not Kenny Chesney. Okay, all right. So right here. I don't think it's Luke Bryan either. If you say the right name, I'll know it. Okay. I don't think it's, all right. I don't think it's, it's on the tip of your tongue, huh? Yeah. So By the way. The Hill Country Tractor, proud to once again be powering all Fiesta Flambeau floats with the Coyote Tractors. This is a company that has been family owned and operated through three generations. Pretty cool stuff. Yep. And next we have the Toyota dealers that are going by here being represented san antonio built toyota tundras yeah these are uh, tough looking vehicles the all yeah. new 2023 toyota sequoia also proudly built right here in san antonio so that's a tundra the black the sequoia is the uh, kind of reddish orangish coral, coral looking co yeah I don't think they'd call it coral. It's got to be something like tough fuchsia or, okay. well, I'll you call, know. I'll call it coral. Very tough all coral right. <laughs> or something like that. Like, you know, Look at all it's that a tough confetti. looking vehicle. So we're going to take a break. We are rolling here at Fiesta Flambeau. We'll be back live after this commercial break. Viva Fiesta! Spectrum, we've built a network to help businesses thrive. One that over 80% of the Fortune 500 rely on, along with millions of small businesses, like the one down the street. A network that moves huge amounts of data, with enterprise services up to 100 gigabits per second. A network that keeps data safe, and that's always on, no matter what. Because our goal is to give you the tools to reach your goals. Spectrum, designed for business, built for you. 
Is your pup ready for a good time at Lucy's Doggy Daycare and Spa? Lucy's offers award-winning doggy daycare, luxury boarding, and grooming. Your furry friend will have a blast in our spacious shaded parks with custom pools and agility equipment. Join us for a sleepover. Up to seven hours of interactive play is included. Or come get pampered with a day at the spa. Come see what all the dogs are woofing about. Mention this promotion for an ARF and awesome first-time offer of a free day of daycare or 20% off a full-service groom. Maybe it's time to ask your checking account. What have you done for me lately? My Advantage Checking from Generations Federal Credit Union does more. My Advantage Checking from Generations Federal Credit Union pays you two days early, gives you identity protection, pays you shopping rewards, provides cell phone protection, and much more. My Advantage Checking treats you right. So make the switch. Learn more at Generations Federal Credit Union. Member owned, community grown. to the 2020, 2023 Fiesta Flambeau Parade. We're just getting started right here. We just went through one section and we've already seen the awesome, awesome floats. We've seen a lot of veterans. Right now, we have the San Antonio Police Department right here waving to the crowd. And you know, our, our department here is 2,300 officers strong and they protect 1.5 million people right here in our great city of San Antonio. Yeah, of course, Chief William McManus, uh, the chief of the San Antonio Police Department, but they also do so much much work during Fiesta Week <laughs> and obviously not only lining the parade route but making sure the parade route is clear making sure uh, everybody is happy and safe and they do a wonderful job year after year of doing just that for Fiesta in San Antonio all right and we'll be back right after this what do you call a local hospital that serves families from across the world? The first and only hospital in San Antonio, solely dedicated to the care of children and expectant mothers, grounded in faith and backed by a world-class health system. And what do you call a hospital that's so much more than a hospital? You know us as the Children's Hospital of San Antonio, but now we have a new name that better reflects who we are and the purpose we pursue every day. Introducing Christus Children's. As a Texas homeowner, you can get a home equity loan from Randolph Brooks Federal Credit Union and leverage the value you've built through years of mortgage payments to pay off high-rate credit card debt, make home improvements, and even pay for education expenses. With RBFCU's home equity loan, you pay no origination fee, no prepayment penalties, and have a low fixed monthly payment that helps you keep more money in your pocket. Put your home's equity to work for you. Apply today at rbfcu.org. Saving you money. It's what we do at RBFCU. Let's grab some time at Peter Piper Pizza for some big wins, some birthday wishes, and some delicious scratch-made pizza. Here, we help make moments that are made to be shared. Like a large New York three cheese with pepperoni. So cheesy, so pepperoni-y, so delicious for just $16.79. Peter Piper Pizza. Pizza made fresh. Families made happy. Ready? It's happening right now at Rooms to Go. Pick from 100 beautiful rooms, each under $1,500. Picture it, your style, your budget, and interest-free financing. Save on rooms like this for $30 or less per month, $25 or less per month, $20 or less per month, interest-free for 50 months. 100 stylish options, each under $1,500. Furnish your home to perfection, now at Rooms to Go. Kickapoo Lucky Eagle Casino Hotel in Eagle Pass is the premier entertainment destination in Texas. You can share a meal with friends at a Zool restaurant, dance to your favorite songs played live at K-Pasa Lounge, and win a jackpot on one of our over 3,000 slot machines. For details, visit LuckyEagleTexas.com or find us on social at Lucky Eagle Texas. ACB's commitment to taking care of Texas extends beyond their own eyes to conserving and protecting the miles and miles of Texas state parks. I saw miles and miles of Texas, all the stars up in the sky. I saw miles Join us in celebrating 100 years of state parks by finding a park near you. To learn more about our sustainability commitment at our Texas, our 
Want the speed to finally defeat your mortal enemy? Oh, oh, there he is! I won! Only Spectrum gives you speed boost for the fastest wireless speeds in the palm of your hand. Get game-changing speed with speed boost only with Spectrum One. We're making Golden Chick fans everywhere. People love our spicy, famous Wicked Wings. Just $6.99 for six wings and a fresh baked roll. The crunch. Okay. The spice, it just gets me grooving. Just wait till you try the new Big and Wicked Chicken Sandwich. The seasoning on it is so yeah. good. So good, but so wicked. It's crunchy, it's delicious. I got the pickle in the bite. Frost on the chicken, it's amazing. They love it. We've made some new fans. Golden Chick. Spread the word. We will. The 2023 Flambeau Parade is powered by GomezLawFights.com. More than 2 million spectators, more than 180 dancers, bands, entertainers, and floats, and 75 years of fun. Those years mean a lot. The traditions that we brought to San Antonio, originally this parade and still is known as the People's Parade. It's the nation's largest illuminated night parade, wrapping up the city's biggest celebration. There's an excitement. Turn a corner and see the massive crowds that are there and people shouting and yelling and asking to see your shoes. Tonight, Fiesta Flambeau returns for its Diamond Jubilee, live from the streets of downtown San Antonio. And welcome to the 75th Fiesta Flambeau Parade. We are coming to you from San Antonio, Texas, and we want to welcome those of you who are watching across the city and across the nation. I'm Steve Spreister. And I'm Stefania Jimenez. You know, Fiesta is our favorite time of the year here in the Alamo City because of all of the excitement. This is an awesome, awesome event because it's not just one day. This is 11 days. We're talking about dozens and dozens of events with amazing food, fun, just so much fashion and really top-notch entertainment. And this is the grand finale. More than 200 beautifully lit floats custom built by dancers. The bands are even lit up. Schools businesses not just from San Antonio but from across the country and across the world we also have entries traveling in from across you know like I said from Mexico from across the country but this entry that we're seeing right now this is special is the showcase band and they came just down I-35 from Austin to join us here in San Antonio like they do every year. The University of Texas Longhorn Band, also known as the Show Band of the Southwest. It was founded in 1900, so this band is 123 years old. They perform in all in-state football games for various Texas Longhorn athletic teams, and they also uh, join in on special rallies and parades like this one throughout the year. Yeah, and you can hear the crowd responding to the Longhorn Band and they're going to play for us here. They get the crowd going. Let's listen in.
is how you start a parade. Yeah, the show band of the Southwest. The, and the, what I love about it is you even see the members of the band smiling with yes. the reaction that they're getting from this crowd in San Antonio tonight, Fiesta Flambeau. And I think they're going to still play another song. Oh, yeah, there we go. All right. So this is symbolic, right? Yeah. You know this uh, parade is officially off to a good start. The party has now officially started. We're going to take a quick break. We'll bring you right back to Fiesta Flambeau 2023. beast said to be roaming these woods and if you listen carefully you can hear it and sometimes you can see its tracks and every now and then you get a quick glimpse of it grandpa telling his stories again the 2023 toyota tundra better trucks make better stories toyota let's go places Baby, it's over. I mean, we both saw this coming. I'm sorry. During our barber school lunch break. Todos los días vamos a Chick-fil-A. Y ahí es como hicimos la amistad. El cumpleaños de Brian. Oh, my birthday, I got a cow hat on oh, my birthday. I remember that. I was fine. I like that. Y se puso el sombrero de lo más contento y se pasó todo el tiempo comiendo con su sombrerito puesto. <laughs> con los pequeños detalles de María, siempre hace nuestros días mejor. Yo les tengo una sorpresa para ustedes. Oh. Uno para ti, Gracias. uno para ti. Yeah. Yeah. Eat more chicken. chicken. <laughs> Kickapoo Lucky Eagle Casino Hotel in Eagle Pass is the premier entertainment destination in Texas. You can share a meal with friends at Azul Restaurant, dance to your favorite songs played live at K-Pasa Lounge, and win a jackpot on one of our over 3,000 slot machines. For details, visit LuckyEagleTexas.com or find us on social at Lucky Eagle Texas. Welcome back to Fiesta Flambeau 2023. We just heard from the 
show band of the Southwest, <laughs> the University of Texas Longhorn Marching Band, and boy, did they put on a great show. I, and and, and we, when we say people come from all over the country we for mean Fiesta, all over. we mean all over. And this, this perhaps indicates that. These are the flags from the 50 different U.S. states presented by Walmart, and employees of Walmart and Broadway Bank are actually the volunteers that are carrying these flags tonight. And, and there are so many volunteers that make this parade possible. Also, they do a variety of different jobs. So we also want to give a special shout out to them. A thank you, thank you, thank you, because uh, you're part of what makes this parade also so special. You have people <laughs> who care about this city and come out and want to party. You know what? We met and we met a, a young family from Colorado earlier yes. that was was with us out here just traveling just to go to Fiesta Flambeau as we take a look at San Antonio Police Chief William McMahon appointed police chief in March of 2006. So the chief has been in San Antonio for quite some time, oversees a department of more than 2,400 officers and 800 civilians. Right, and they watch over a city with which has 1.5 million residents, so no, no easy task there. You know, Chief McManus has more than 40 years of experience here in law, uh, in law enforcement. He started his career in law enforcement with the Metropolitan Police Department in Washington, D.C. And there we see some more officers from San Antonio's finest, the San Antonio Police Department. Uh, that's the bike unit, of course, as you see there coming through to a great round of applause yeah, by the crowd Yeah, I love here. the reception. Very, very that is of a our wonderful police. reception that they're getting here from the crowd. But They're doing yeah. bike tricks, too. Yeah. <laughs> that's part of it. If you go down, they're doing some bike tricks. Yeah, then you get that kind there of There you go. They're uh, popping some wheelies. All right. Now they're just showing off. They are just showing off. <laughs> here but he goes. People love yeah. it. Yeah. And now here we have the San Antonio Fire Chief. That is Charles Hedda. Well, the banner's there, and you're going to see the Fire Chief in just a moment. Uh, he was sworn in as Chief There in he is. He likes, he likes to ride in this vintage fire engine Antique here. Antique fire truck. Yeah. That's right. And, uh, you know, it, we are, are blessed in San Antonio that we have had a longtime uh, police department chief. We've had a longtime San Antonio fire chief. Charles Hood has been the chief in San Antonio since 2007. Yeah, and he's actually the first African American in this historically significant city right here of San Antonio. The crowd loves him. Uh, everyone's just really excited. And look at that cool antique fire truck. He Every loves that year, thing, and he, we yeah. love it. Yeah, and I actually believe those are also members of the Hood family that are with him up there right now. Yeah, he's a proud and, dad uh, to four he sons. Loves, yeah, he loves San Antonio, and, and every year he has the widest smile on his face. Widest <laughs> smile on his face <laughs> as he goes down the parade route. So this has got to be one of his favorite things to do Look, and as he, fire chief. And he clearly digs uh, the medals here. He's oh, got a yeah. vest full of medals. You have to. Yes. You yes. have to. It's just part of the deal. And up next here, we have the San Antonio mayor, Ron Nuremberg. He has been mayor since June of 2017. Uh, and here we have a two-year two term. So he was elected in 2017, 2019. 2021. Yeah, and he's in a vintage Ford convertible there. I want to say it's a Ford Fairlane, but I'm probably wrong. But I'll, I'll be able to tell <laughs> as we get a little closer. But there you see. Somebody's going to let us know. There you see Mayor Ron Nuremberg and his wife as they make their way down the parade route here. Good to see the mayor enjoying himself. You're receiving a warm welcome from all oh, the people Oh, it's a Ford here. Galaxy. There you go. It's a there Ford Galaxy. Beautiful say, car, though. It's a cool-looking car. It's yeah, cool -looking I like car. that a lot. Mm -hmm. like that a lot. All right. Now, next up, we have the San Antonio Fiesta Commission president, John Mayer, and his wife, Jackie, their daughter, Kristen Mayer, and their son-in-law, Andy. And their mascot is Viva. Viva. Absolutely. And by the way, I've got to say, the weather for Fiesta Flambeau could not, be could not be better right now. It's uh, maybe 70, high 60s right now. Not a lot of wind. It is perfect. Sometimes it can be a little warm out here. Sometimes it can be a little windy. But right now, it is beautiful it's in perfection. San Antonio. This is Chamber of Commerce weather as we see the San Antonio Fiesta Commission presidents. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back. Hello, San Antonio. My name is Natalie Gomez, your 2023 Reina Linda. When you think of Fiesta, you think of vibrant colors and great food. 
But most importantly, Fiesta is about cultures of San Antonio, about making memories with friends and family. We have been visiting schools, spreading the importance of education. As La Reina Linda, you have helped me raise over $100,000 for scholarships for college-bound students. Viva Fiesta, and don't forget, con Gómez son familia. Gómez lo fights! Gómez lo fights! Gómez lo fights! Emilio! Vámonos. todo para el camino. Uy. Oh, Emilio. Tranquilos, ¿olvidan que somos guiquillonarios? Tenemos AT&T Fiber con velocidades hypergate. ¿Listo? Listo. Vamos. Ay, un segundo, voy al baño. Emilio. Vive como un millonario. Obtén AT&T Fiber. Ahora con velocidades de hasta 5 gigas. Disponibilidad limitada. Monarch Trophy Studio has been providing top quality awards for over 50 years. Monarch Trophy is the largest award store in Texas and is the place to go for Fiesta medals. Fiesta medals are great for school and nonprofit fundraisers or to promote your business. Monarch has a great selection of gifts that can be personalized for someone special. So come see Ryder and I at Monarch Trophy and experience our amazing selection and service. Monarch's beautiful showroom is located at 281 in Thousand Oaks. Hey, answer your phone. All right, welcome back. Right here, you're looking at the University of Texas at Austin, the Texas Longhorn Band, known as the Show Band of the Southwest, stopping here in front of the beautiful Alamo right now. And this is, traditionally, this is traditionally where they play. They only usually play one song along the route, but they are playing, in front, and that is along the Alamo. But they treated us to something very special here in front of where our cameras are set up uh, in downtown San Antonio. But it is a tradition that that the University of Texas marching band plays a song in front of the Alamo. Let's see if we can listen in a little bit, if we have any that sound from this. I don't know, kind of running around. So let's see, let our photographer get set up and see if we can listen in a little bit. show band of the southwest 123 years old i mean this this band has 375 students and boy do they know how to get a crowd ready yeah and like i said that's the traditional song that they play right in front of the alamo pay tribute at the alamo every year it's something that the ut band does and so it's it's great to see it it's just one of the traditions that go with fiesta and go with the fiesta flambeau parade and here we have the united states army jbsa fort sam houston and we have the military coordinator uh, lieutenant general john evans here he's the commanding general of the u.s army north and senior army commander of fort sam houston and camp bullis by the way this is also he's also this year's fiesta senior military commander so a special year for him yeah and it is so much a part of san antonio like you said military city usa is what san antonio is called and so to have lieutenant general evans be part of this celebration is only right because they are such a huge part uh, fort sam houston actually not far from where we are actually uh, have conducting this parade right now so it, it's just right to have uh, the army be part of this celebration you know and the army has actually 
actually participated in Fiesta San Antonio since Fiesta first began in 1891 to honor the heroes of the battles of the Alamo and also San Jacinto. And now Fort Sam's own 323rd Army Band, U.S. Army North. Let's listen in. Pennsylvania relocated in 1946 when Fort Sam Houston was established as the home of Army Medicine. So you want to talk about some history, Fort Sam's own 323rd Army Band, certainly history from U.S. Army North. And we talk about all the people who are making their way who are here right now in San Antonio from across the country. And here we have one perfect example. This is the President's Honor Band from Troy, the Troy Cult Marching Band from Troy, Michigan, a band that was established in 1950. Uh, 280 people a part of this band. This is actually their fourth time appearing in the Fiesta Flambeau Parade. Yeah, and they have also participated in Thanksgiving Day parades, Disney parades, London parades. But like you said, this is the fourth time they've been in Flambeau. Let's listen in to the Troy High School Marching Band from Troy, Michigan. This is, of course, the Illuminated Night Parade. And you're looking at their outfits. They're also illuminated. to the Troy High School Marching Band from Troy, Michigan, which I believe is just outside of Detroit, making their way all the way to San Antonio for the Fiesta Flambeau Parade. And like you said, Stephanie, just seeing they, they these bands try to outdo each other mm -hmm. with how much lights they have uh, on themselves, on their instruments. It does not matter. Uh, you know, it just, it's, it's just so awesome. Yeah, impressive. And I, I have to say, I'm relieved for them because the marching band uniform is pretty heavy and it's uh, it's made of wool, I believe. So the fact that the temperature is just about 70 degrees here right now is just wonderful for them, especially considering that this band is from Michigan. Yeah. And I look at, I mean, just the way that they are marching in, in synchronization is very impressive. It's something that the crowd is certainly appreciating here. Yeah, it's a, what, 280 members that are a part of this band and they're all doing this in unison. It's pretty cool. I also love this shot as yes. it, so the the Alamo is off in the distance from where we are right now to give you kind of an idea of uh, the logistics of where we are in San Antonio and I love the fact that once they head down the parade route you get to see the the lights even more as, as they head off. And now right behind this band, we are also going to see the San Antonio Fiesta Commission. This is the, the Queen's Court and the Visiting Queens on a beautiful, beautiful, colorful float right now. I mean, we have several queens. I mean, we have queens everywhere, right? But we have oh, yeah, definitely queens for on Fiesta, this float. Yeah. Yes. This is Miss Fiesta San Antonio, Jaslyn Grace Ramirez, the Fiesta Teen Queen, Laurel Miller, the Charro Queen, Anika Chapa, the Queen of Soul, Erica McFarland, Miss San Antonio, 2020. 
2022 Wendy Araujo, uh, Minneapolis Aquatennial 2023 Queen of the Lakes, Kia Skomberg, and St. Paul Winter Carnival 2022 Queen of Snows, Effie Barnes. And we also have the Pasadena Tournament of Roses Queen, Bella Ballard. Yeah, our San Antonio Queens and visiting Queens wish everyone a happy Fiesta Flambeau Parade. By the way, Jaslyn, who is the Fiesta, Fiesta San Antonio, uh, has res she she during the annual celebration has an eco economic impact of more than 340 million dollars. Fiesta San Antonio does, and that is what she's representing. And I think it's only appropriate that that Jaslyn, when she waves, she uses jazz hands. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's great. And I love there the fact go. that there are so many queens from other parades, Lots from of the Rose Parade, from the Minneapolis Parade, from the St. Paul Parade that are taking part in Fiesta Flambeau. And they all do awesome charity work, and that's part of what goes with Fiesta, right? Because Fiesta is a party with a purpose, and so a lot of what these young women do is also give back to their community, so it's just awesome to see that. Yep, all right, they're all decked out in yellow, so that must mean it's the Battle of Flowers Parade president and some of her helpers there. Lucy Bell is the Battle of Flowers entries chairman. Carolyn Kane is a Battle of Flowers member who is also on this. The Battle of Flowers, the founding event of Fiesta, it happened uh, yesterday, and it was the 132nd Battle of Flowers Parade. And if you're looking at that float right now, one thing might strike you, and that's that it's all women. Yes, that's what it is. It's, a, it's a, an organization made up of all women, all volunteers, and they produce the events of the Battle of Flowers Association. This began in 1891 as a patriotic Patriotic celebration to honor the heroes of the of the Alamo, also the Battle of San Jacinta, and it's since evolved into one of the oldest and largest parades in the country. And obviously, they're wearing yellow because they're worn. That's what they that's their that's what they uh, wear. Most of their members during their parade. Right, time. that signifies the Battle of Flowers uh, Parade Association, right there, showing off their shoes, which of course are appropriately yellow for the Battle of Flowers. Next, we have Fiesta Flambeau Parade President. Erwin J. DeLuna, who we've heard from a lot during this parade. He has been instrumental in making the flambeau what it is, what the carriage that he's on there, a horse-drawn carriage that's drawn by horsepower. I like that. <laughs> yeah, they all these all these floats try to outdo each other, and it's awesome to see because they take so much work. And, you know, we have to give props because, you know, to, to the person who planned this parade, Erwin J. DeLuna, because planning for this actually began in July of 2022. So this is really a long time. San Antonio and the San Antonio plans. College uh, float just go, went by us right there. The San Antonio College president, Dr. Nadine Gonzalez de Jesus, also uh, taking part in this parade. Good to see the San Antonio College president and members of her staff and students on board that float. Always nice to see that. And there's so much of Fiesta Flambeau 2023 left. We're going to see you on the other side of this break with more. Kickapoo Lucky Eagle Casino Hotel in Eagle Pass is the premier entertainment destination in Texas. You can share a meal with friends at Azul Restaurant, dance to your favorite songs played live at K-Pasa Lounge, and win a jackpot on one of our over 3,000 slot machines. For details, visit LuckyEagleTexas.com or find us on social at Lucky Eagle Texas. We all met Maria during our barber school lunch break. Todos los días vamos a Chick Fil A. Y ahí es como hicimos la amistad. El cumpleaños de Brian. Oh, oh, my birthday, I got a cow hat oh, on my birthday. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. That was fire. I like that. Y se puso el sombrero de lo más contento y se pasó todo el tiempo comiendo con su sombrerito puesto. <laughs> Con los pequeños detalles de María, siempre hace nuestros días mejor. Yo les tengo una sorpresa para ustedes. Oh, uno para ti, gracias. uno para ti. Yeah. Y muy chiquen. Perdón, pero se acabó. Pues ambos vimos esto venir.
all-new Prius. Toyota, let's go places. Welcome back to Fiesta Flambeau 2023. The McCollum High School Band Cheerleaders and Wranglerettes actually passing by our viewing stand here along the parade route. Good to see them. They were the McCollum ones all High decked School. down green. They were the ones all decked down green and green. And now we're getting ready to see the Bear County Judge Peter Sakai. He started in his new position this just earlier this year. His term is going to end in January of 2027. Before this, he was a judge of the Bear County Children's Court, and that there he is, Bear County Judge Peter Sakai. Yeah, good to see the new judge out. Of course, he took over after longtime Judge Nelson Wolf in an Oldsmobile 442, I believe, convertible there. See, now note, you're just showing off. Note I am paying attention to the convertibles that go by because <laughs> they are very nice. And there you see the judge's wife also with him. Good to see Judge Peter Sakai. It's a very nice car, too. Yeah, it is nice. Very nice. And right behind him, we have the Bear County Sheriff, Javier Salazar. He was elected to office in 2017. You'll see him momentarily. He served more than 25 years with the San Antonio Police Department. There he is right now, taking his hat off, waving to the crowd here. He was uh, successfully reelected as Bear County Sheriff in 2020. And this actually marks his 30 years in law enforcement, uh, which has been dedicated to serving and protecting the great citizens of Bear County. We should also mention that Sheriff Salazar was born and raised right here in San Antonio, Texas. Yeah, absolutely. Good to see the sheriff out here. And uh, we have actually uh, seen the sheriff and his deputies out here on horseback before. But I guess this weekend they decided, ah, we're going to take the patrol unit and do it upright. Uh, the for, to the former Fiesta Flambeau president, Nick Carrizal. Uh, you know, this year's parade is being dedicated to, to him, Nick Carrizal III. He passed away this year, February 23rd. He was president of the Fiesta Flambeau from 2013 to 2014. And the family would like to thank the Fiesta Flambeau Parade Association for this honor. Yeah, and that's his wife of 50 years, Bonnie Carrizal, who was also a former Flambeau Parade president, and their children also on board and the family would like to thank the Fiesta Flambeau Parade Association for this honor remembering those who have come before we take a break we'll be right back Descargaron todo para el camino. Uy. Oh, Emilio. Tranquilos, ¿olvidan que somos guiquillonarios? Tenemos AT&T Fiber con velocidades Hyper Gig. ¿Eh? ¿Listo? ¿Listo? Vamos. Ay, un segundo, voy al baño. Emilio. Vive como un guiquillonario. Obtén AT&T Fiber, ahora con velocidades de hasta 5 gigas. Disponibilidad limitada. Your family is important to us, and that's why CentroMed has a team of pediatricians and pediatric nurse practitioners trained to take care of children's health care needs. Our team will make sure that your child's well-being is safeguarded by checking their vision, hearing, and physical development as he or she grows from childhood into adolescence. We are available for evening and weekend appointments. For more information or to schedule an appointment, call 210-922-7000 or log on to CentroMedSA.com. Monarch Trophy Studio has been providing top quality awards for over 50 years. Monarch Trophy is the largest award store in Texas and is the place to go for Fiesta Medals. Fiesta Medals are great for school and nonprofit fundraisers or to promote your business. Monarch has a great selection of gifts that can be personalized for someone special. So come see Ryder and I at Monarch Trophy and experience our amazing selection and service. Monarch's beautiful showroom is located at 281 in Thousand Oaks. You will? Okay. Viva 
Fiesta. Welcome to Fiesta Flambeau 2023. And what better way to come back from a commercial break than to see the Judson High School marching band from Converse, Texas, ready to rock the house right here. This is a school that was established in 1959. In just a moment, we're going to listen in to the band, but they are getting the crowd riled up. But honestly, this is a crowd that really hasn't stopped being riled no, up. No, they are very excited. By the way, it's only, it's only fitting, I think, that we have the Judson band coming back to Rocket because they are the Rockets. There you go. Let's listen in. This is a very established band. They have hosted the Rocket Review Marching Contest for the last 34 years. They've received multiple UIL Sweepstakes Award of the Years, and the band has members that made the 2022-2023 All-Region Band. That is the Judson High School Rocket Band and Guard Cheer and Dance from Converse, Texas, which if you're not familiar with San Antonio, is just basically a suburb. It's part of just San Antonio. Just outside, yes. Yeah northeast here of uh, San Antonio right, and right now we're looking at uh, the Toyota dealer here the San Antonio built Toyota Tundra and the all-new 2023 Toyota Sequoia proudly Sequoia. built Sequoia right right here built proudly built in San Antonio yeah and it's great to see the Sequoia is actually is a, a recent development uh, recent addition to the San Antonio plant so very happy to see the Sequoias and the Tundras as they go through this parade and this year, Toyota celebrating 15 years as the official vehicle of Fiesta. And these are some Fiesta Flambeau parade torches that you see there that are going by. This one's sponsored by Jackson Hewitt. The idea of a lighter parade was the brainchild of a civil engineer named Reynolds Andrix. He was elected to the board of the old Fiesta San Jacinto Association in 1848. Flambeau, the French word that means a tall decorated candlestick or burning torch. So the marchers use both or individual flashlights at times to give the appearance of a thousand points of light. I want to thank the volunteers from Jackson Hewitt for carrying these torches tonight. A little history on what the Fiesta Flambeau, how it well, started. Too. You have to know. I mean, this is a city chock full of history, so it's always nice when you get these little nuggets of information as, as you're watching this event play out. All right, we told you that there are bands that come in from all over Boy, the there. state, all over the country, all over the world, and Whoa. this is the Skyline Raider Band from Dallas, Texas. Yes, and Skyline High School was the first magnet school in the United States. The, this Raider band has won several awards, including UIL Superior Ratings, the best drum major awards. And look at that, they're getting the crowd all fired up. Let's listen.
edition of Uptown Funk. Yeah, Bruno Mars. Yes, you know, you got that reference? I, got, I know that. I, I'm not so big on the uh, country earlier, you know. She thinks my tractor is sexy. I didn't know it was Kenny Chesney. You said it was Kenny Chesney, so you yes. were correct. But I didn't know that one was Bruno Mars. Yes, Uptown yes. Funk. There Much you go. more familiar with the Bruno Mars library and catalog than the <laughs> Kenny Chesney one, obviously. And the crowd absolutely loved this because this is also the Skyline Raider Band's second appearance in the Fiesta Flambeau Parade. So they knew what they were coming into, and boy, did they bring it. I love the moves. And what I love is seeing the kids in the band have fun yes and you could tell that once they stopped just before they started their dance moves you could tell that they were having a great time and they were ready to you know kind of break it down a little bit there bring it show us bring show it. us what they're all about and now we have fiesta especial with disability essay and this is a group it, it, they help people with disabilities it's an official fiesta experience created for children and adults with physical cognitive and developmental differences and and really the family and the friends who love them they create what is a, an inclusive and educational experience and they engage people with disabilities in the culture diversity and also the celebrations here of fiesta yeah and i love this as you see that's the royal court going by and there's our friend sophia right there that we did a story on a little bit earlier this year they held a fiesta special coronation a fiesta special celebration and a fiesta special 5k and parade so it's great to see the court out here and people enjoying seeing these youngsters from fiesta especial all right and we're going to have another band coming for you right on the other end of this break we'll be right back with fiesta flambeau 2023 viva fiesta Prius. Toyota. Let's go places. Hello, San Antonio. My name is Natalie Gomez, your 2023 Reina Linda. When you think of Fiesta, you think of vibrant colors and great food. But most importantly, Fiesta is about cultures of San Antonio, about making memories with friends and family. We have been visiting schools, spreading the importance of education. As La Reina Linda, you have helped me raise over $100,000 for scholarships for college-bound students. Viva Fiesta, and don't forget, con Gómez son familia. Gómez lo fight! Gómez lo fight! Monarch Trophy Studio has been providing top quality awards for over 50 years. Monarch Trophy is the largest award store in Texas and is the place to go for Fiesta medals. Fiesta medals are great for school and nonprofit fundraisers or to promote your business. Monarch has a great selection of gifts that can be personalized for someone special. So come see Ryder and I at Monarch Trophy and experience our amazing selection and service. Monarch's beautiful showroom is located at 281 in Thousand Oaks. Across the southlands of Texas, western legends still ride the plains. Inspired by the skill of the charro horsemen, the vaqueros forged the American cowboy. It is a past eat in rich culture, history, and tradition. Today, the essence of that entailed tequila is captured in su tierra tequila. Taste the smooth, mellow flavors aged to perfection. Celebrate the spirit of the vaquero and the cowboy. Let's rodeo San Antonio. Salud. And welcome back. You know what? We got some bulldogs what? heading our way from <laughs> Somerset High School in Somerset, Texas. This is the Bulldog Marching Band. And Flags, also, also dance, their dance team. Cheer. Yes, and by the way, this is a very special year for Somerset High School. It's actually celebrating its centennial this year. Somerset is an A-rated school district, and Somerset ISD was recognized as one of the nine districts in Texas that saw increases in both reading and math during the pandemic. So not an easy feat, but they managed to do it, and so there's a lot to celebrate. And we have the dance team That's here before for the band. Right, the cheerleading, then the dance team comes your way, and then we have the marching band from Somerset High School. And uh, 
They're always a football powerhouse. Oh, we got a little gymnastics going on. Wow. All right, that's not easy to do. No, I couldn't do that. Could you? <laughs> no, <laughs> I couldn't. I think you were asking. I, didn't, I don't think you seriously thought I could. I think you were being <laughs> facetious there, asking if you thought I could do that. I like that you're honest, though. Yeah. All right, now we have the Silver Dancer Dance Team coming your way from Somerset High School, waiting to hear from, of course, the Somerset Marching Band. Uh, the band has received numerous excellent and superior ratings at UIL contests. By the way, the Somerset Dance, they are back-to-back -back grand champions. So congratulations to them. And I love the fact that they have the flower crowns. Yes. In the blue and white. Yes, yes. For Fiesta and They match Flambeau. their outfits and also illuminated. Look at that. Look at the band. All right, let's listen in a little bit to the Somerset Marching Band. Flambeau and this one of those dancing groups that we're going to see a few of around town. Las Charangas. Yes, and their president is Arturo Ramos. For 2023, they vow to entertain spectators and help celebrate the Flambeau's 75th Diamond Jubilee with vibrant, embellished costumes and illuminating the Flambeau Parade. I will say that's a lot of lights there. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's a, it, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, it, 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 can you imagine how long it takes to just make to them? make those outfits? It's artistry, really. Yeah, it is. All throughout this here. Yeah. <laughs> Those skirts are lit. <laughs> Literally and Literally, figuratively. Those skirts are lit. All right, now we have the parade letters for Fiesta Flambeau presented by volunteers from Frost Bank. Good to see them out here. And they're, they're always out here. Frost Bank returns each year to carry the Fiesta Flambeau letters with a fun and an active group. And Frost Bank spruces up the letters whenever they need to be spruced up. And we want to give a special thank you to Frost Bank. <laughs> <laughs> That's called the Flambeau Circle there. And they did. No, I, <laughs> you just I made just, that up? I just made that up. It's a new, tra Steve. It's a new tradition <laughs> we can have, the Flambeau Circle of letters. Sorry, we're going to take a break. We'll be right back from downtown San Antonio. Baby, it's over. I mean, we both saw this coming. I'm sorry. Fiesta Flambeau is America's largest illuminated night parade. On Saturday, April 29th, the streets of San Antonio will light up with floats, music, and excitement. Get your tickets at Flambeau.org or FiestaSanAntonio.org. Fiesta Flambeau is America's largest illuminated parade. And KSAT's broadcasting and streaming it live April 29th. Join us for all the lights. And excitement starting at 7. Viva, Viva Flambeau! Flambeau. What do you call a local hospital that serves families from across the world? The first and only hospital in San Antonio, solely dedicated to the care of children and expectant mothers, grounded in faith and backed by a world-class health system. And what do you call a hospital that's so much more than a hospital? You know us as the Children's Hospital of San Antonio, but now we have a new name that better reflects who we are and the purpose we pursue every day. Introducing Christus Children's.
Prius. Toyota. Let's go places. Welcome back to the largest illuminated parade in the country, Fiesta Flambeau from downtown San Antonio. And we have Grand Marshals. Yes, and let's go right back out to that to that shot that shows them making their way down the, the parade route. We have the Fiesta Flambeau Parade Grand Marshal, Danilo Carrera, an actor, presenter, and model. But also here, you're looking at there is the honorary Grand Marshal, Shelly Lada. She's also known as Little Miss Diamond. Oh, never mind. That is Danilo Carrera right there, our, our, our Grand Marshal. Both yeah. of him. Both he. Both, of, both he and Shelly Lalas are on this float. By the way, Shelly, of course, a Tejano superstar. And from San Antonio. Yeah, we love you too, Shelly. So great to see the Grand Marshal and honorary Grand Marshal and Shelly has retired from Tejano Music has started her own record label and is also helping those in hospice and those that need care with music, music therapy yeah. she's doing a wonderful job for the community and I love that she still continues to work and keep people happy through their music all right you want to talk a band that enjoys themselves there, here we have it the, the Sam Hurricanes Houston from Sam Houston High School here in San Antonio let's watch and listen. How to keep that crowd going by and the keep way, them in their spirits. They were the opening act for music and rap artist T.I. at the Tobin Center. Pretty in case cool. You were wondering. Pretty yeah. cool. And now we have St. Mary's University. Their band, the drones, their color guard, also their dance team. This is St. Mary's University, the first institution of higher learning in San Antonio and the oldest Catholic university in the Southwest. They have a ton of cool programs. Let's listen in. see them taking part in Fiesta Flambeau 2023. And by the way, this is a really cool fact here. St. Mary's University is home to a drone lab where students study drone technology through the engineering 
science program. So they've contributed a lot to all the advancements that we've had in drones across the country. <laughs> are so you want to talk about a float that's rocking? Uh, I mean, it's, it's up and down. We're yes. The hydraulics? <laughs> I, I think the shocks on this uh, float are going to be shot before the night is over. That is King Antonio rocking out there on top. Clyde Johnson, the fourth. King Antonio, the 100th. Now, if you're not familiar with the Texas Cavaliers, they honor the fallen heroes of the Alamo. They promote horsemanship in the age of the automobile, and they also foster relationships with the military throughout our cities. They also have the Cavaliers River Parade. It was sold out. King Antonio, as we said, is the 100th. By the way, since their inception in 1989, the Texas Cavaliers Charitable Foundation has just distributed more than $13 million to children's charities in San Antonio and South Texas. And you see King San Antonio right there. He's going to make more than 150 stops to schools, hospitals, and charities just during this Fiesta 2023. Yeah, there it is. King Antonio pulling out the sword. Good to see you. King Antonio, the 100th. By the way, he has that on his boots. Oh, okay. He has the C on his boots for the 100th. <laughs> so good, good to see Clyde out here. And right here we have the Bridgeport High School Mighty Marching Maroon Band from Bridgeport, Texas. That school was established in 1882, and the city of Bridgeport is celebrating 150 years this October. Yeah, let's see if they're going to play something for us here. Let's listen. School Mighty Marching Maroon Band. As you said, established, the school was established in 1882. Their mission empower, an empowering organization working together to make success a reality. They won the boys' state basketball championship, by the way, in 2015. A little uh, history there for you. All right, and next up here, we have the Rey Feo Consejo, the Educational Foundation. Yeah, the Order of the Casquiron. By the way, they are uh, born out of the faces of Fiesta, the Rey Feo Consejo Educational Foundation. Uh, Rey Feo, by the way, is it, their mission is to uphold the traditions of Rey Feo, increase awareness, and support the fundraising efforts of the Scholarship Foundation. The Rey Feo Scholarship Foundation, and so far they've awarded more than a million dollars in scholarships, which is amazing. The regent, uh, Bill, Drain, uh, Bill Drain, is the former Rey Feo from 1963, and there are more than 75 consejos. So just a little bit of history right they there They do just you. such great work. And this is the order of the Cascarón. There we have it, Norma With Reyes. The inductee, and of course, Ray Feo, also part of that entire thing. And I, I mean, I think this this float and the King Antonio float, the Ray Feo float and the King Antonio float, they're like, they're contesting for which one is bouncing up and down more. <laughs> I think it's a contest between these. I don't know who's winning right now. Look at that. That is awesome. Look at that giant crown also on that float. Yeah, just beautiful. Lawrence Larry Kurth and his wife, Abby. Lawrence is the 74th Ray Feo. Great to see him out here. He has been such a staple of this community over the last few weeks and certainly over the last 10, 11 days of Fiesta. Continuing with members of the Scholarship Foundation, and I believe uh, that is Lorena de la Felia de las Flores, but 
uh, yes. Renee Victoria Vasquez. Right, and Renee has done really well for different organizations. She's raised more than $50,000 for students in San Antonio, and they use them for scholar college scholarships. Also, they use that money to pay for trade schools. So really talk about uh, paying it forward and, and doing a lot for the community and the people here in San Antonio. And I love the fact that Renee has a huge, that she has the huge crown there at the yes. beginning of Leading that the way, yes. And playing Girls Just Want to Have Fun by Cindy Lopper as they go by, which is appropriate, I think, yes. for that float, certainly. And look at those lit up shoes. It has just been an amazing night here. The, the festivities, the people, the food, the, the colors, the camaraderie. Everybody here is just so excited to be a part of Fiesta Flambeau 2023. And we are so happy and honored that you've joined us tonight. Yeah, what a wonderful start to the night. Now, if you're joining us from across the country, thank you for tuning in. And thank you for joining us for Fiesta Flambeau 2023. Yeah, and we hope to see you right here in San Antonio for the next Fiesta season next year. Have a good night. Good night. Y ahí es como hicimos la amistad. El cumpleaños de Brian. Y se puso el sombrero de lo más contento y se pasó todo el tiempo comiendo con su sombrerito puesto. Con los pequeños detalles de María siempre hace nuestros días mejor. Yo les tengo una sorpresa para ustedes. Uno para ti, uno para ti. Emilio, descargaron todo para el camino. Uy, oh, Emilio. Tranquilos, olvidan que somos guillonarios. Tenemos AT&T Fiber con velocidades hyper gig. Listo, listo. Vamos. Ay, un segundo, voy al baño. Emilio. Vive como un millonario. Obtén AT&T Fiber ahora con velocidades de hasta 5 gigas. Disponibilidad limitada. Kickapoo Lucky Eagle Casino Hotel in Eagle Pass is the premier entertainment destination in Texas. You can share a meal with friends at Azul Restaurant, dance to your favorite songs played live at K-Pasa Lounge, and win a jackpot on one of our over 3,000 slot machines. For details, visit LuckyEagleTexas.com or find us on social at Lucky Eagle Texas. Baby, it's over. I mean, we both saw this coming. I'm sorry. Fiesta and welcome back to Fiesta Flambeau 2023 and man has this been an amazing night all of the bands it just energizes you when you're out here and it's just getting started yes I, ho I hope at home it's coming through all the different colors and the lights and the enthusiasm from not only the people that are watching this parade look at that look at that <laughs> he's adorable all right that is somebody that said listen th I gotta wear this to Flambeau <laughs> that is awesome I hope that's coming through but also 
also the enthusiasm from those that are in this parade. Yes. The bands, those that are on the float, the royalty, so many different ones. And look at this, the John F. Kennedy High School band and cheerleaders now coming down. And like I said, all these cheerleaders, all the dance teams, the bands, they want to light up and top the other bands yes. that are in Fiesta Flambeau. And look, and they're doing it. Their mascot is the Rocky, and, and you know, the mission of this high school is to make sure that all students graduate and, and they go to college, they're ready for a career, they go on to the military as soon as they're expected to, to graduate. And you know, the cheer team, pretty cool. They've won fourth place in national cheerleader competition in January 2023, which is just this past January up in Dallas. Yeah, so they're the Rockets. Rocky is their mascot, and you can see that this is the dance team here. That was the cheerleaders, these are the dance team now from John F. Kennedy High School. As you said, established in 1963, they had a rating of excellent at the UIL region marching contest. They have multiple students who advanced and placed high in the all area competition, multiple students who advanced the Texas State solo and ensemble competition. They received a superior rating in both categories in UIL concert and sight reading competition. By the way, the cheer team won fourth place in the national cheerleading competition in January of this year, as you said. So they've done they've done a lot. We can't wait to see what else they have in store for us because right we've seen the cheerleaders. We have and here is the the dance team. Yes. And behind them, we're going to have the marching band. And so we're going to listen in in just a few a few moments to see what song they've cooked up for us. Look at the look at the tassels on the boots. The flowers I, I on the think, boots there. I always think the craftsmanship and the work that goes into all of these outfits when you have the illuminated night parade, I mean, you really, it's like wanting to outshine each other, right? Oh, yeah, you absolutely. It is you a competition to. within a competition when you see these bands and you see the dance teams and the cheer teams. And this now, we're getting to see the John F. Kennedy High School band, the Rockets. Let's listen in. <laughs> band the Alamo College District floats. There you see the college districts. By the way, the college district comprised of five colleges, San Antonio College, St. Phillips, Palo Alto, Northeast Lakeview, and Northwest Vista. And this is a pretty impressive, the Alamo College's district. It's the largest provider of higher education in South Texas with more than 68,000 students taking credit, workforce, and also continuing education courses every single year. And they really serve a Bear County and, and really just beyond. Uh, you just mentioned that there were five colleges. They also have seven educational training centers, so they do a lot of work here in uh, San Antonio. Yeah. And here we have the parade marshal. Yeah, the Juneteenth parade. Alec Wallace is the honorary grand marshal. Uh, Lee Wallace, excuse me, is the honorary grand marshal for the Juneteenth parade. Yes. Now, by the way, that parade is scheduled for Comanche Park uh, on June 17th. The entire San Antonio community is invited to attend. But there you have it there. Now we have the Gonzaba Medical Group. Yeah, and it, they actually look like maybe they have, uh, look at that float by the Gonzaba Medical Group. It's the Alamo. They have the Alamo, they have the tower. They have downtown San Antonio all represented in this float. In this one float. That's great. Pretty cool, pretty cool looking. You know, for the past six years, the, that medical group has set up first aid stations along this parade route. They also provide medical assistance and, and also as an in-kind sponsor of the Fiesta Flambeau Parade. So we're very lucky and happy to have them here, making sure that everyone's safe. And yes, there they go with the cascarones. Very nice, and, and, and nice boots, showing us their boots, showing us their shoes. 
I like that. Yeah. And now we have another cheer team. Southwest Legacy High School is next. The Titans, their cheer team, and the band coming down here. By the way, this is one of the newer schools in San Antonio, established in 2017. As I said, they are the Southwest Legacy Titans. The Titan Band has participated in the Fiesta Flambeau Parade every year that the schools existed. So they can say that there hasn't been a year in the history of their high school where they have not participated in the Fiesta Flambeau. It's a nice record to have. Uh, in just a few years, they've also, that band itself has ex received exemplary ratings at UIL contests, Color Guard contest awards, and also Jazz contest awards. Pretty cool stuff. That The Legacy High School Band created the first steel drum ensemble in the district, and it's gonna have an inaugural performance this spring. Uh, and under the new coach, the Titan cheer, the, it's the most improved cheer team. I like that. By the way, did you notice the guy, can you see the guys that are carrying the, the banner there? They've got their Titan helmets on. <laughs> so they're, they're ready. They certainly are. And there's the flag core, and here comes the band. Let's listen. Also wearing their Titan helmets. Let's listen in. tell you I tell like me. the I like the helmets <laughs> the, that no, the they, band was wearing. No, they, they are pretty cool. Yeah. They you are don't see you cool. don't see band helmets like that very often. That is the entire getup. Yeah. All right, and here is this the Conservation it Society? Is. There we go. We have um, the Niosa chair. Yeah, here. Patty Zoinks is the Niosa chair. Wayne Hartman, Niosa treasurer. Julie Terrell, Lisa Pierce, and Terry Campbell, vice chairs. And, and if you're looking at the vehicle that they're in, they're actually actually that is not that. That looks like that's Ray Fejo. That looks like it's a Ray Fejo. Uh, that looks like a Ray Fejo Education Legacy group there. Oh, All right, this is Niosa. This is not an old Here San Antonio. We this have is the group it. in the old bus right there. Look at the, with the beautiful flowers decking that bus, and, and you know that bus is actually a replica, a replica of a 1925 Delphi school bus that was built by the Wagon Works of Delphi, Indiana. It's mounted on an original 1925 Ford TT. Um, it was built for the Pioneer Flight Museum in Kingsbury, Texas, and it's used as part of living history presentations. And now we have the Jordanton High School Marching Band. The Indians are the 2021 UIL State Marching Band contestants. Superior ratings in marching and concert. Three honor band in 2018. Let's listen in to the Jordanton High School Marching Band. All right, look at this float. Okay, that is a cool-looking float. And it's rocking. It's, yes. They, put, they of course, put on uh, a Taste of New Orleans, the Zulu Association. Woo! 
And you know, there's so much of Fiesta that's taken its inspiration, or Fiesta Flambeau that's taken its inspiration from New Orleans and, and Mardi Gras. So this is cool that they've made this a part of a part of their float. And, and the mission of the Zulu Association, it's a benevolent organization founded with the mission to assist the greater San Antonio community. I mean, they award 20 scholarships every year. They donate to the community. They also plan and produce a taste of New Orleans, which is one of Fiesta's most popular events. It originally started as a large picnic celebrating Juneteenth, and uh, they've just done an awesome job. That I just can't get over that float. It's awesome. Yeah, and these are the pace setters from Pleasanton High School, also part of this. Their mascot is the Mighty Eagles. Oh yeah, absolutely. And by the way, Pleasanton ISD has served as the birthplace of the cowboy community for more than 100 years. It's just a 30 miles south of San Antonio. You know what, I think it's appropriate. We just had the Jordanton marching band. Yeah. Now we have the Pleasanton marching band and dance team. They're rivals. Oh. They're, they, they're, they're very close together. They're, there is a rivalry between Pleasanton and Jordanton, so I think it's probably only fair that they're so close beside each other here in this band. I don't know if they did it on purpose. Who knows? But I think it's I think it's a great idea by the Flambeau Committee. But since we gave the other band their due, their moment, yeah. let's listen to the band right now. All right. or Carlos Santana. You take oh, your choice, okay, okay. whichever one. But, you know, <laughs> I, I like both versions. Steve has been flexing all night ever no, since I earlier. Have, I now haven't listen, been. I have been tell less you, than flexing. This, this is, you know why? Yeah, so he's been flexing because you incorrectly, when I mentioned a Kenny I Chesney did. song earlier, yeah. said it wasn't Kenny Chesney, Ch Ch Kenny Chesney when it was, and many of you have been writing to me on Instagram and on Facebook and Twitter, and yes, I've seen it, and I've showed it to Steve. So he needs to know that I, he was I, wrong. I, I'm, I was wrong. Okay. I'm just trying to make up for it with my musical knowledge of other genres. And here we have the Women's Club of San Antonio, the Teen Queen and Ingenues. And so this is a club that helps young ladies between the ages of 12 and 18 continue the mission through community involvement, civic engagement, and they just want to keep young people involved, and they clearly do a, a wonderful job. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. Fiesta Flambeau 2023. beast said to be roaming these woods and if you listen carefully you can hear it and sometimes you can see its tracks and every now and then you get a quick glimpse of it grandpa tell his stories again the 2023 toyota tundra better trucks make better stories toyota let's go places 
Across the Southlands of Texas, Western legends still ride the plains. Inspired by the skill of the charro horsemen, the vaqueros forged the American cowboy. It is a past steeped in rich culture, history, and tradition. Today, the essence of that entailed fatigue is captured in su tierra de Gila. Taste the smooth, mellow flavors aged to perfection. Celebrate the spirit of the vaquero and the cowboy. Let's rodeo San Antonio. Salud. We all met Maria during our barber school lunch break. Todos los días vamos a Chick fil A. Y ahí es como hicimos la amistad. El cumpleaños de Brian. Oh, my birthday got a cow hat. Oh, my birthday. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. That was fire. I like that. Y se puso el sombrero de lo más contento y se pasó todo el tiempo comiendo con su sombrerito puesto. Con los pequeños detalles de María siempre hace nuestros días mejor. Yo les tengo una sorpresa para ustedes. Uno para ti. Uno para ti. Y more chicken. <laughs> Welcome back to Fiesta Flambeau 2023. As we went to break there, I want to tell you what we saw. That that was Natalie Gomez. She's Lorena Linda and the Ray Feo Scholarship Foundation. And she, we did a story on it earlier about the fact she had the luminescent dress yes. on that you saw there. Yeah, beautiful. And uh, so it was great to see her. It was Natalie Gomez, Lorena Linda, the pretty queen, escorted by her royal consort, Tracy Gomez, and her cousin, Ronnie Suarez, a Ray Feo Consejo. And uh, it was, the, the dress was great. What may have been better? The pinata shoes. The pinata shoes. I mean, if they go around the Alamo right now, we're going to bring that shot up when that happens because you, you have to check this out. It's just, it, it's just yeah. amazing. Yeah, but anyway, I wanted to explain what you were looking at before we went to break there. Uh, it was good. I'm glad we got Natalie's dress in since we did a story on it earlier. That's right. Yeah. And now we have another marching band that's about to come up. Absolutely. This is Hempfield Marching Band. The Hempfield Area Spartan Marching Band. They are from Greensburg, Pennsylvania. So we said people come from near and far to be part of this. And look at that sign. Yeah. I wonder if they made that just for Flambeau. I would not be surprised, right? They're all trying to outshine each other tonight. They all look pretty. This is pretty cool. Look and but look at this shot right here when yeah. you're watching the, the, the dancers and, and, and the, the band come this way, come down the avenue. You can just see illuminate those beautiful, beautiful. I just feel like the outfits, the clothes keep getting better and better tonight. This band is out of Pennsylvania, Greensburg, Pennsylvania, but they have performed all over the world. Most recently, they performed at the London New Year's Parade in 2020. Yeah, and they actually fundraised for that trip by selling thousands of subs each month. And I believe up in Pennsylvania, they call them hug hobies or grinders. Let's listen in. It's great to see people getting into the spirit. It's a night parade. It's just it's just lovely because you figure these people are not from San Antonio, yeah. but they are bringing it. You wouldn't be able to tell they blend right in. You know what? Let's do a little Christmas here. It's the McAllen Holiday Parade float from McAllen, Texas. The Holiday Parade, their largest illuminated Christmas parade in Texas. And I love the fact. Yeah. 
Yes, look They've at that. Got snow. It is snowing in April in <laughs> San Antonio. <laughs> Lovely. It is snowing, but only on a certain portion of uh, Avenue E right now, right? Look at it. Fireworks. <laughs> you see the fireworks? Oh, there? come on. Come I hope, on. I don't, you know, with the guy with the big hat on. See yes. that? I, yes. hope he, I hope he got my list. Yeah. I don't care what Only Stephanie says. I've been nice. I don't know. I don't I care what Stephanie says. Been I've been nice. Naughty. I'm I have check been in nice. With your wife. I've been nothing but nice. <laughs> and if that float inspired you, by the way, the, their parade, the McAllen Holiday Parade, is held the first Saturday in December. And now let's look here. This is South Padre Island. Oh yeah. Yeah. They give, Padre. They give relaxation a whole new meaning with its bright blue skies and clear blue waters. If you've ever been to South Padre Island, it is absolutely stunning. It's it's gorgeous and if you're wondering it's just four and a half hours away from us right here in san antonio but we want you to stay where you are right now because yeah. we have so much of this here all right you've heard of the golden hour how about the golden bear hour because it is time for the golden bear marching band from thomas edison high school there you see the golden bear right yeah, there the kids love it Let's listen in to, oh, the band's still a little ways away. We've got the cheer squad right now that's going by us. The Golden Bear rocking around, greeting people on the route. Thomas Edison High, High School. School. Yes, and this is a school that was established in 1929. They've received a superior first division at the annual UIL concert and sight reading evaluations. Also, they've won awards for their marching contests and uh, their present day Edison campus. It actually opened up in 1958. So they've got a, a long uh, history right here yeah. in San Antonio. They have a storied history, but have they ever had to march through fake snow before? I don't know. I doubt it. We can, we can ask. I'm them. guessing they have not. <laughs> and now their band is making their way here down Avenue E right now. So let's listen into what their band has to bring. I I'm excited. An annual UIL concert and sight reading evaluation. Superior First Division at annual UIL marching contests. And the Edison letters that and you got to have there. the you got to have the Edison letters. That's for sure. And here is a riding with Torchy. In 2006, the Fiesta Flambeau Parade Association introduced Torchy as its mascot. Torchy was a year-round symbol for spreading goodwill throughout the community. For the parade, listen, bright. Sunny, lime colors, yellow. In 2015, the association established a charitable foundation, and Torchy represents that as well. And, and Torchy's message is to encourage kids to read and also get educated. And you know what? We actually have a camera on board this float with Torchy. So look, that's that's the camera cam to yes. the right. Our camera cam. <laughs> That's the float cam to the right, and to the left is the cameras that we have up here on the podium with us. So every once in a while, as the parade goes along, we like to take a parade view yes. of exactly what's happening. Yeah, we're watching them watch us. Yeah, exactly. All right. You know what? It's time for the Million Dollar Band from Indian Land. The Harlandale High School Band, Dance, and Cheer Team coming along. They are also always one of the favorites. Yes as they make their way down Avenue E here in downtown San Antonio. This is the Harlandale High School Golden Dancers team that you see right there. Yeah, and when we talk about the band, which is coming up because they're behind them, they've participated in Flambeau for more than 20 years. So this is a, a band that people look forward to seeing year after year. Yeah, by the way, the dance team three times winning grand champion, outstanding choreographer.
Photography and Performance Awards. Oh, and we start to hear that band coming down. Let's yep. listen. that they are using yes. on their instruments, on their uh, band uniforms. I mean... Their hats? Their hats. They're going all out. Why not? Harlandale, they're bringing it tonight. Not only the band, of course, obviously, great band, the Million Dollar Band from Indian Land, Harlandale High School, but great to see all those lights, Cheer too. Cheer team, dancers. I mean, everybody brought yeah. it tonight. Look at that. This is, I, that and I, that's what I said. As they go off, I mean, it, it's not as... As, you know, there's not as many lights as you head down towards the Alamo that you're seeing right there. And so it was great. It's a great perspective there to see uh, exactly what's happening. And, and now we, we promised that we were going to bring you this shot right now because it's so special. It's La Reina Linda. You're going to see her float here right now. We want you to pay close attention to the dress that she's wearing. Also, her piñata shoes. It's coming up. we got to mention it before you see it because we want to prepare you for yeah, that. You know what to look her for. Float. Yes. Yes. So we're just waiting for that float to come down in front of the Alamo. Yeah, I don't think it's time yet. Still waiting for Lorena Linda. There we go, right there. Oh, there we see Lorena Linda. Okay, there's there the okay, pinata yes! shoes. Okay, yeah, you see them? Yeah. She I, not I only mean, has the the out the skirt that lights up in different colors along with some of her uh, uh, compatriots there, but the pinata shoes. And by the way, that dress, it, it was patented technology that weaved plastic fiber optics with uh, the flashing color mode, so it's pretty cool. That We actually did a story just on that, which you can check out on kset.com, but not now. We want you to stick around right now and keep watching us because we have plenty of Fiesta Flambeau 2023. Right here, you have the San Antonio Firefighters. Right here, the Professional Firefighters Association. It's the local chapter of the International Association of Firefighters. The association represents the firefighters of the San Antonio Fire Department and also negotiates their working conditions, safety, and benefits. So this is their union, the proud local 624. Yeah, good to see them out here as they are every year for the Flambeau Parade. Good to see San Antonio Professional Firefighters, their union out here. And they also have a vintage fire yeah. engine just like the chief did i like the siren on this one old school that is so cool to look at and the kids on the back of that fire engine oh they're having the time of their yeah, life they got to be enjoying themselves <laughs> that's for sure uh, next up we have the brackenridge high school here in san antonio texas we've got the band uh, yeah. the dance team the cheer team and the mascot for them is the eagles yeah. obviously you see them right there the mighty eagle band by the way they got started early this morning because they actually marched in the king william parade okay about nine o'clock this been morning a long day so for them. i hope they got a nap in i hope the mighty eagle <laughs> band took a nap all right by the way here they come down here uh, as you get a chance to see them let's listen in cheerleaders <laughs> behind them did and the you, dance team the did stars you see the drums how they were all decked out oh yeah and the lights yeah. and the, it's just it's just so impressive to see that and you mentioned that they that the ba that that band was in another parade this morning the king william parade they also did battle of flowers so right. they've, so they've, certainly they've been had a visible. busy week that's they've for been sure very visible throughout fiesta yeah great to see our friends from brackenridge high school 
All right, next up, these are our military ambassadors, and they are, you know, it, it's a unique group. Mm -hmm. 132 years ago, Fiesta San Antonio started as a one-day parade event to honor the memory of military heroes at the Battle of the Alamo and Battle of San Jacinto. Today, 10 servicemen and women serve as military ambassadors representing their respective branches. They take part in more than 50-plus events throughout Fiesta. Yeah, and you know, this is... City USA. All of these different groups that work with that work with veterans, current service members, and also their work out in the community, and uh, you're seeing them go down right here, Avenue E, and that's certainly a cool vehicle to look at. They're ready. Yes, yeah. and we have more of them, more military ambassadors here. Yeah, absolutely, and they come from all over the country, and so a lot of these military ambassadors know nothing about San Antonio and Fiesta. They don't know anything about it, but they are elected from their different branches. They decide to run, and they get elected, and there you see him showing off his shoes. Good job. Yes. And so they obviously are, uh, you know, they get inducted quickly into what Fiesta is all about. And by the way, I remember when UTSA started a football team and they started a marching band, and it was not that long ago. <laughs> now we have the University of Texas San Antonio float, and we have, I believe, the UTSA marching band right behind them. Always great to see the Roadrunners in action. Yeah, and, and Let's go 2-1-0. Yeah, and you know what? UTSA, it's just grown so much. It, it's one of uh, 20 universities nationwide that's designated as Hispanic serving institutions. They hold a prestigious tier one classification for research excellence. We've been hearing so much about their different sports yes. teams, right? Yep. Their football team, their baseball team. They've just been doing really well, well and making a name for themselves. And right now we have the Lanier Marching Band, the Mighty Vogue Band from Sydney Lanier High School, the band and Blue Jackets. Let's listen in. cheer and dance team right behind the band there. By the way, the cheer team 11th place in the nation at the 2023 NCA 2023 high school cheer competition. The dance team took second place in the nation at the MDA dance competition. Love and that. The band has also done pretty well. They've had the won second place in U.S. Band's finale marching contest, third place in the color guard of the TECA Winter Guard contest, and they were the featured school at the Texas Independence Day celebration at the Alamo. Absolutely, and so great to see the Mighty Vogue Band out there. And right now we have the Joe A. Gomez Law Firm coming down. Of course, they are Sponsor. sponsoring our parade coverage tonight. So always great to see Joe and, and, there and was, his associates out there. And they're a staple here in San Antonio. I mean, this law firm was established in 1973. You know them from the commercials. Yes. As the, their their uh, motto is uh, Gomez Law Fights. That's their slogan. Um, Joe A. Gomez Law Firm fights for the rights of the injured victims and their families. Let's listen. <laughs> Law firm. Gomez Law Fights. <laughs> I love the crowd dancing along with them. 
And I believe we have the Southwest High School Band, Color Guard, and Pep Squad coming up next. Band director Natalie Ball, Danica White, and Miguel Aguias. Yes, and that's a, they were established in 1950. Their mascot is the dragon, which I'm hoping to see momentarily. And, uh, you know, they have consistently won different sweepstakes. Uh, area marching finalists, they've, they've been recognized for that. Also, they're TC, TECA Color Guard state champion. Champions. Okay. Let's, let's listen in to the Southwest yes. Dragon let's marching do that. They're kind of like band uniform zoot suits. <laughs> I like them. They're very nice. Yeah, they stick out. Yes. They definitely stick out. It, it, it is cool in their hats. You you were so uh, impressed by the um, the other hats from the other uh, yes, marching Yes, the band. Titans. Yeah, the Titans. Yeah. And these are pretty cool. Yeah. You know, if we had dragons and, and Titans, it would be a clash of the Titans. <laughs> Steve. That's, I what, would that's say what would happen <laughs> coming up. <laughs> but let, let's hope we don't have that. Okay, right, now we now have Via. We have some Via action right Via, now. Via, yes, Metropolitan Transit. That's a public transportation system right here. Uh, they were established in 1978. Their mascot is Buster. Via Metropolitan Transit, they provide regional transportation options that connect you, our community. Are you seeing these pinatas made out of balloons? Okay, that's awesome. And cakes made out of balloons? Oh, yes. Very nice. How fun. <gasps> and look at the bus all decked out. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of the trolleys. The trolleys. That goes around downtown. Tell. And there's Buster hanging out the door. There you have him. Yeah. Via Transit celebrating 45 years in San Antonio. Glad that they're part of Fiesta Flambeau. And next we have some volunteers from AT&T that are coming up. Uh, Texas State Senator Jose Menendez and his wife Cecilia are also on this float, I think. Yes. AT&T President of Texas Leslie Ward also and Vice President of External and Legislative Affairs J.D. Salinas. Yeah, and the company actually started in 1876. Yeah, their mission is to connecting people to greater possibility with expertise, simplicity, and inspiration. And not to be outdone, by the way, with the lights either. No. Very nice. They're all lit up. They are sparkly. Well, they're connected. <laughs> they're AT&T, so you know they've got a they've got a connection there. I like it. Uh oh, we have more uptown funk coming our way, right? I think so. I think that's what at and is playing. <laughs> Next, we have Texas A&M San Antonio float. Mr. and Mrs. Mr. and Miss Texas A&M San Antonio. General, the Jaguars, the mascot, Student Government Association, and the Texas A&M Spirit Team. Yes, KSAT 12 in the house. Thank you. Danza Vida de San Antonio. La Danza Vida de San Antonio is a dance company. It's the dance life of San Antonio. It was founded by Crystal Diaz. She's a former Miss San Antonio, and they do a lot to provide an elite dance education for people here in San Antonio. They teach uh, Spanish flamenco, Latin dance, also folklorico, so a lot of these traditional dances. Yeah, absolutely. It's a dance company, and they do such a great job. I mean, we were talking earlier about uh, a number of these companies that we get to see tonight. Let's listen in, and I also love that their float for Danza Vida, a tribute Selena, to Selena. Of let's, course. Let's take it all in.
was Selena's favorite color. Absolutely. And you've got more than a dozen mini Selenas right there moving just I like know. Selena. How great is that? Vida de San Antonio. Absolutely. And of course, they have the, uh, the letters. letters behind right there. What's and your, they have what's the Selena t-shirt. And what's your favorite Selena song? I, there's so many. <laughs> how do you amor, choose, how do you choose just one? Bitty, bitty, boom, flor, I think. Bitty, bitty, bam, bam. Yeah, that's bitty, my bitty, favorite one. Bitty, bitty, bam, bam. Bitty, bitty, bam. Yeah, I feel like you're a bitty, bitty, bam, bam kind of guy. Of course I am. All right. Yeah. <laughs> here is pretty cool because first they the San Antonio's the first zoo consisted of a collection of animals that they were assembled in San Pedro Park in the 1800s and then in 1914 General George W. Brackenwich donated buffalo, elk, deer, monkeys, a pair of lions and four bears on land that he uh, deeded over to the city and what we now know as Brackenridge Park and then that collection is what became what we know today as the San Antonio Zoo. And I believe that's the animals that are being represented on this float are the original <laughs> animals that were part of the San Antonio Zoo. I like the sparkly ape. You see yeah. the sparkly All ape there? All of it is cool. All yeah, of it. I like the, cool. I'm digging the giraffe, the flamencos. I mean, all of it. Yeah. And you know, the zoo uh, has, is a 50 plus acre, is 50 plus acres, and it has more than 750 species. Some of them are endangered or extinct in the wild. And every year they welcome more than a million visitors. All right, speaking of visitors, we have visitors from Brenham, Texas. This is the Brenham High School Band and Color Guard. Let's listen in. San Antonio. My name is Natalie Gomez, your 2023 Reina Linda. When you think of Fiesta, you think of vibrant colors and great food. But most importantly, Fiesta is about cultures of San Antonio, about making memories with friends and family. We have been visiting schools, spreading the importance of education. As La Reina Linda, you have helped me raise over $100,000 for scholarships for college-bound students. Viva Fiesta, and don't forget, con Gomez son familia. Gomez lo fights! Gomez lo fights! Gomez lo fights! Prius. Toyota, let's go places. Fiesta Flambo is America's largest illuminated night parade. On Saturday, April 29th, the streets of San Antonio will light up with floats, music, and excitement. Get your tickets at flambo.org or fiestasanantonio.org. 
Fiesta Flambeau is America's largest illuminated parade. And KSAT's broadcasting and streaming it live April 29th. Join us for all the lights. And excitement starting at 7. Viva, Viva Flambeau! Hello and welcome here. This is a live look at the people along the parade route of Fiesta Flambeau 2023. People here could not be more excited to wave to our cameras. It's just a great night. Listen, the weather is certainly perfect tonight and it just couldn't be, usually with Fiesta, it's hot, it's humid, but boy, this is the best Fiesta weather we've ever had. Yeah, the official vehicle of Fiesta Flambeau, of course, Toyota, and you see a lot of Toyota volunteers might recognize Araceli from the Toyota commercials, yes. who is down here with us as well. So good to see all of the employees from Toyota, and well, not all of them, but some of the Toyota Tundra and Sequoia builders on hand with us. So great to see that. And I'm telling you, I'm impressed by the Tundra and Sequoias that we've seen rolling You've through this. You've been impressed by a lot of the vehicles, I have. Too, especially I, you know, the older I, that's ones. What I notice, that's what I notice more than anything else. What did, the, what did Adam Kasky say that color was? Oh, I don't, I don't remember. Something like, something fusion or something like that. I don't know, I can't remember. Solar, Solar orange. orange, that's it, there that's you go. it, that's it. Yeah, because it looks, it might look red, but no, 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 no. Solar orange. I like that color. That's the color. Yeah. Solar orange. Next, we have the, the law Texas, guns. Yes, the Texas law guns, Villarreal and uh, the Begum. And Begum, uh, injury lawyers. Um, and uh, yeah, they are their attorneys there. They stand up for those injured by the negligence or carelessness of others. They have extensive legal experience and also a dedicated support team catering to Texans who require aggressive legal representation. They were established in 2005. And here you see some of the parade participants from Texas Law Guns, the uh, law firm, of course, of Villarreal and Bigham. One of the sponsors of Fiesta Flambeau. All right, and next we have... The Veterans Memorial High School Band. This is a band that was established in 2016. The mascot, their mascot is the Patriots. This is the newest, Veterans Memorial High School is the newest high school at the Judson ISD, and it opened in 2016. Yeah, Southwest Legacy, we said, was new. So is Veterans Memorial. As you see the high school band marching down. Let's see if we can listen now to the Veterans Memorial High School Marching Band. their way down Avenue E right now and we're going to listen to them in just a moment. Here they go. United for Entertainers and Diverse Artists. It's a group right here in San Antonio, and uh, their mascot is Rico the Donkey. That's the one that we see there. Looks like a giant, a giant piñata. Um, and, and they have a fiesta event. Yes. Piñatas in the barrio. And they hope, and what they aim to do is to provide financial, legal, uh, medical, also health care assistance with a focus on educational scholarships. 
Very Piñatas nice flute there. in the Barrio. Yeah, that's he the Action United for Entertainers and Diverse Artists. Heroes in more now, bringing joy Aww. to children one smile at a time. A local nonprofit helping special needs and terminally ill children. As we see that on the left side of the screen, we also see float cam on the right side of your screen. Yeah. That's a pretty shot there. And that's, uh, what is, it? is that Superman? Who just passed us? Oh, I was looking at the <laughs> at the float cam, so I did. I was, I did looking, the, at, I was looking at the other one, but yeah. So yeah, that, I think that that's Main Plaza right there, with that uh, float cams going by. Beautiful. It's a long it's a long parade route, right? Two point yeah. six miles. Yep. Heroes and more. Yeah, look at that. Heed Wonder the call Woman. of a hero. Wonder Woman. We've got all the superheroes there. The Power Rangers. The the Blue Power Ranger. Yeah. And Batgirl, yeah. I see Batgirl there at the end, or Batwoman. And also um, Robin yeah. was also there. Okay, and now we have Chick-fil-A. We're looking at that banner. I mean, who doesn't love them some Chick-fil-A? The franchise began in 1946, uh, and it first started, so here's some trivia for you. Chick-fil-A first entered Texas in August of 1970, and they opened at La Palmera Mall, which is in Corpus Christi. Right now, there are 33 restaurants, 33 Chick-fil-A's in San Antonio, which makes San Antonio the third city with the most Chick-fil-A restaurants behind Houston and Atlanta. I did not know that. By the way, uh, Thursday for Fiesta Fiesta last week, it was so warm and so humid before that storm came in. I swore that the Chick-fil-A cows were sweating off their spots. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That is a cool float. All right. I like the KSAT shout outs that we're getting here too. Oh yeah, me too. Well, we're in a great location. And up next we have Centro Med here. It's, uh, it was originally known as El Centro del Barrio. It started in 1971 and they uh, started operating just one counseling program for kids and adolescents. And their aim was to increase the number of Mexican-American social workers uh, providing culturally uh, competent mental health care services on the west side and also on the south side. But now they've exploded. I mean, Centro Med has medical clinic, dental clinics, and mental health clinics throughout San Antonio. Yep, bands, <laughs> businesses, Parade, you know, floats. We've got all kinds of nonprofit groups all represented in Fiesta Flambeau. You know, right now, we've got Zumba Fitness by Caliente Dance Studio. Coming up next, Zumba created by Colombian dancer and choreographer Beto Perez in 2001. It's a great way to improve your overall health while dancing to various music cultures. Oh, so let's listen in to the Caliente Dance Studio and Zumba Fitness. You want to get up? I want to get up and <laughs> go ahead. Go I can I'll take a break. Go out there and do <laughs> do a little Zumba, and then you come back. And we'll pick it up. You don't talk about a workout. I know. Doing Not just Zumba for an entire parade. Yeah, 2.6 miles, yeah. and you have to keep it up. Keep it up. Yeah. The, the entire route. That's a lot of Zumba. Okay. And now this is from Zumba to Samba. Yeah, Samba That's Vida Drum and Dance Corps. Yes, Flo yes. Reyes, the president, the musical director, they want to provide cultural musical entertainment for the community with the community. Let's listen in.
drum and dance. They were first place winners of the 2022 Fiesta Flambeau Parade and several prior years. Yeah, so they don't, they don't want to disappoint this year, and they certainly didn't. No. Samba Vida. Always one of those you look at. Next, we have the Postal oh. Carriers, the National Association of Letter Carriers, NALC Alamo Branch 421. They yeah. provide training and support for the chief stewards and stewards that represent our union brothers and sisters in the field. Now, by the way, they've marched in the Flambeau Parade since the 1940s. And we've, rec we've actually seen them do a lot of charity work around town. So this is going to be their 31st year for the annual Stamp Out the Hunger Stamp Out Hunger Food Drive. Letter carriers, what they do is basically they collect food while they deliver their routes. And last year, they collected 154,000 pounds of food. And by the way, this year's drive is going to be on May 13th. So watch out for that. It's just a few weeks away. All right. Master Move Caribbean Style Dance and Fitness. Chanel ATN is the owner. Established in 2021. So this is one of the newer dance uh, dance troops that we've seen yeah, so representing her home country of Haiti yeah, with so Caribbean rhythms. They do a lot of dances from Haiti and the rest of, of the of the Caribbean and it's really up tempo choreography and their real their mission is so that working out isn't a chore which is nice. I like that. Kind of like a Zumba. Yeah. Same idea. And the colors very Caribbean as well the colors yes. of their outfits the red the yellow the green. Now O'Reilly Auto Parts is up right after them. Can you sing the song? Oh, 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 O'Reilly oh, 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 Auto There you go. Parts. By the way, they also would fit right in at a uh, St. Patrick's Day parade right? as well, in yes. case you were wondering. And by the way, here's, an, here's another thing. Uh, they have more than 6,000 stores across the country. And uh, in the San Antonio area alone, they have more than 30 locations. So that's something. Like it. And now we have the Center for Healthcare Services. That's the next float. Yeah, the Center for Healthcare Services has provided mental health support and substance use solutions to Bear County for more than 55 years through 80 plus programs with nearly a thousand staff members. They're centered on their mission to provide hope and healing to all. Yeah, and they have more than 20 locations here around, around Bear County, so they really do a lot of work around the community. The Lowndes High School Georgia Bridgman Marching Band from Valdosta, Georgia. All the way from Georgia. Let's listen in. that a band from Georgia say, plays Georgia on my mind. So that's that's appropriate. I like that. And what, do, what do you think of their marching band uniforms? I like it. Very snazzy. Yes. Very nice. Bow tie. I like it. I'm digging it. Lowndes High School Georgia Bridgman marching band all the way from Valdosta, Georgia. Very happy. And they've Look won at them. High 15. High-fiving. Yes. The they've won 15 grand champion awards in the last 10 years, and it's pretty obvious when you when you see them do their thing. They just look so awesome. And okay, now more St. Anthony. We have uh, St. Anthony Catholic High School that was established in 1903. This year, St. Anthony uh, Catholic High School celebrates its 120th year. Yeah, that's Buzz the Yellow Jacket in the middle because, of course, St. Anthony Catholic High School, they are the Yellow Jackets. One of the fixture Catholic high schools here in San Antonio. Let's listen to, to that band. marching band and right behind them the Michoacana Meat Market yes established 
in 1986. By the way, they have delicious conchas. Really? Just, just saying. Okay. Yes. <laughs> they, have, they, they have a great carriage on top of this float. Oh, look, showing us the shoes. Showing us the cowboy I, I love, boots. Yes, yes, wearing a beautiful fancy dress with cowboy boots because that's how we do. By the way, they have Charo Equestrian Riders as well joining this route. Look at those beautiful horses. And those horses love to dance. And behind them, we have the Longfellow Middle School Spartans. Yeah, Henry Wadsworth Longfellow Middle School. They are doing the tough job. Yes. They're the pooper scoopers. Yep. Appropriately right behind the equestrian horses. But you know. The charro horses. They do great work because what they're doing is keeping the parade route clean. We want to keep our city Absolutely. clean throughout all of this. And we have to give them, but we have to give them props. They have the scoop. <laughs> Steve. All right, the San Antonio Police Officers Association Blue Cares float is next. Blue Cares, the charitable organization of the San Antonio Police Officers Association, and Blue Cares does such a great job. You might remember they do Blue Santa. They do so many different things, and great to see members of the San Antonio Police Officers Association as they walk through this parade and their families. Yes, and they help and a lot of... And there's Sapoa President Danny Diaz also out there in front, high-fiving some of the members yeah, well, of the, the parade. Yeah, they're out, in the they're out in the community all the time. They, they help underprivileged families, at-risk youth. And so uh, they, they wanted to say that tonight's float shows the unity among those organizations who prioritize building strong and safe communities throughout the city. The San Antonio Police Officers Association Blue Cares. And next up we have a, a, a favorite, right? Who doesn't love Bill Miller's barbecue? You, all right, so you have big T's, then you have really big T's from big from Bill Miller's. Look at the size of that teacup. <laughs> you get sweet tea from Bill Miller's. It's just one of those things you do in San Antonio and you talk about the big T's They've outdone themselves. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's a very, yeah. yeah. That, that, yeah. That's a really big tea there. <laughs> Wonder how much sugar goes into that sweet Ooh, tea. Ooh, let's not talk about that, Steve. Don't put a damper on it. Now this year's mark, this year marks 70 years of business. Uh, they were established in 1953. And by the way, they have given out more than $4.4 million in tuition reimbursements. And this is uh, their, its ninth year of awarding scholarships to its employees. That's Bill Miller's. All right, let's talk about this group that's coming by, Sidecars, yes. Tours, and Rides. Yeah. Now, this is a, a fairly new thing here in San Antonio. They have Vespas. They have Vespa with Sidecars. Yes. And they connect people through the unicorn of your bucket list, a curated sidecar experience. The first and only Vespa sidecar tour company in the United States. And look how cool those sidecars are yeah. on those Vespas. Yeah, and we said, so the, it's owned by a Latina, it's success, and it's successfully operated through the pandemic. And look, look at those kids, adorable. So know, we have one it. dressing up as Mario. I believe I saw Luigi earlier. Yep, there's a, a big Luigi, Mario. I like that, the sidecar Vespa team. Palo Alto College, the next float that we see there, our friends from Palo Alto College. Yeah, and their mission is to inspire, empower, and educate the community for leadership and success. The mascot is the Prima and Primo Palominos. I love that because they also have medical, Dental. They have some of the engineering. Welding. They have just so many different things that are represented on that float as you see it go by there. Our friends from Palo Alto College. We're going to take a quick break right now. Oh, we have a gap. Oh, it's a nice set of break. <laughs> you know, this is, after, break. this is after all a, a, a long parade route, 2.6 miles. And so, uh, you know, we have a lot of how many floats do we have? Hundreds? Oh yeah, 200, yeah. 200 at least floats. As we take a look down at the Alamo, you get an idea of the di uh, different groups that are, are going in front of the Alamo. Oh, and we have float cam. Let's see if we can pick figure out where float cam is right now. 
They're on West Martin, so they're towards the end of the parade right there. Hello. Hi. Yeah. You're live on TV. <laughs> yeah, you're on TV. Yeah. <laughs> She's just asking right now, am I live? <laughs> so you can tell we're getting towards the end of the uh, they're getting towards the end of the parade because you see some of the buses and things like that that are lined up to take all of these people home. And, and now if we could bring it right back here because now we're getting closer to another float here. This is the Casamba dance and drum. Here they actually won second place in last year's Flambeau Parade. You've got the letters, you've got the dancers, and look at that. Look at that, what they did to that to that pickup truck. It's all decked down. Yeah, it says Kasamba always making the community happy and wanting to dance with everyone, bringing joy and smiles to all. The Kasamba Dance Troupe. And there's still plenty of Kasamba right behind them. They also have the letters. Yes. That are coming our way. I love these outfits too. By the way, that each of these dance troops bring their own flair to their dance uh, outfits, and I love the outfits that they're wearing. I just wish I could speak to them tomorrow and just ask them, hey, how was it, or do your feet hurt? Because yeah. I'm looking at some, some people are wearing very interesting shoes as yeah. they're walking along this parade route. What was it like kasambiing <laughs> a full parade? In the shoes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. And now we have the kasamba letters. Adding even more color to Fiesta Flambo. Hello. Hi. People waving at us here as we're live on TV. Good to see you guys. <laughs> hey. Thank you. Thank you. It's always good to see people. And that's what I love too, is people coming up saying hi, visiting with us. Yeah, our loyal, our very loyal viewers here at KSAT. And now yeah. I'm trying to figure out this next float. I believe it's the Citrus Festa Fiesta, Texas Citrus Fiesta. It's established in 1932 in the home of the Grapefruit Mission, Texas. That's what it is. To promote its wonderful winter citrus harvest and educate individuals about the citrus Aww. industry and its dedicated growers. They've been featured in National Geographic, Southern Living, and Texas Monthly Texas Citrus Fiesta. They've also been shown in, they've also been in shows in Kansas City, also Washington, D.C., and my, 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 are those some detailed yeah. dresses. Representing Texas Citrus and the beautiful Rio Grande Valley is the Royal Court King Citrus and Queen Christina the 86th and her Royal Court, the Texas Citrus Fiesta in Mission, Texas. Love it. All right, and now we've got more Toyota, more Toyota vehicles. The local dealerships here, we have six around San Antonio. We have Alamo Toyota, Cavender Toyota, North Park Toyota of San Antonio, Red McCombs Toyota, Universal Toyota, and Vic Vaughn Toyota of Bernie. And by the way, this year, Toyota is celebrating 15 years as the official vehicle of Fiesta. The Thomas Jefferson High School marching band is next. The Mighty Mighty Mustang marching band. The flags, the dance, the cheer team also here, of course, they are the Mustangs from Thomas Jefferson. They also, of course, have the lasso rope and dance team. But I think we're gonna see the marching band before we see the lassos. Let's listen in. marching band here now the lasso. the lasso rope and dance team since 1932 the lassos have reflected the unique heritage and history of thomas jefferson high school a service performance and spirit organizations they have made a difference in young women's lives by helping them develop as leaders and encouraging academic excellence our mission is to help any young lady who wants to be a lasso realize her dream once a lasso always a lasso
Lasso. Yeah, and they've actually been featured on the cover of Life magazine. They just celebrated 91 years. And by the way, they just got back from Los Angeles where they performed at the world's largest farmer's market. Yeah, they are, they are famous. The Thomas Jefferson High School Lasso Rope and Dance Team. All right, and you know, you can't get enough size of horses here. The, the Animal Defense League of yes. Texas, they were established in 1934. They're turning 89 on June 19th of this year. I mean, they take in, they really do amazing work because they have saved, they've rescued cats, dogs, they provide medical treatment, nutrition, and shelter in a safe uh, facility until they match these animals with their forever families. And, you know, the Animal Defense League is the largest and oldest that's in actual no-kill shelter in South Texas. They've uh, rescued 6,600 pets uh, and uh, 6,400 found their forever homes in 2022. All right, time for the Del Rio Queen City Bells, a dance and drill team out of Del Rio. Their Bells, a prestigious group of young ladies who perform for their school and community. The team takes pride in helping young women develop leadership skills, communication skills, character, and confidence. They serve their school and community as positive role models. And they have a lot to celebrate. In 2019, in that flambeau parade, they won uh, first place in the high school dance category. You're about to see some of their moves right now. They've also participated in the Macy's Thanksgiving Parade in New York. And right now, they're celebrating the 50th anniversary of the school. Good to see our friends from Del Rio represented here at Fiesta Flambeau. The Bells. And now after them, we're going to show you that. Yes, H-E-B, here, everything's better. Actually, yes. and also here, everything's brighter. This is true. For the at least for tonight. Parade. At least for, for tonight, tonight, here, yeah. everything's brighter. H-E-B and its float coming by. Of course, the mascot is H-E-B, buddy. The story of H-E-B, of course, begins in 1925, a small family store in Kerrville. Yeah, and today H-E-B serves more than 300 communities across Texas and Mexico. They have more than 430 stores and 154,000 partners. Let's see, they've got some ice cream, some cafe au lait, and some corn. Love it. I am a big fan of their ice cream. <laughs> H-E-B. And now we have Claudia Taylor Johnson High School here in San Antonio, Texas. We have their band coming up. Yeah, we have the, the drill team, it looks like, or the uh, uh, twirler team, the flag team, and of course the band behind. Claudia Taylor Johnson High School. The band was named the 2020 UIL Class 6A State Marching Champion. The first time since 1985, a San Antonio band won the state marching contest. Let's listen in. Johnson High School Marching Jaguars. Yes, and they placed in the top six at the Bands of America Grand National Championships in 2021. The only high school named for former First Lady, Lady, Lady Bird Johnson. And now here we have Team Taco Cycling, because when you're cycling, what do you think about? Tacos, of Or course. you cycle <laughs> because you eat a lot of tacos, or you cycle you because to. you want to eat a lot of tacos. <laughs> so whatever is your inspiration, 
I think nothing's better than a team taco cycling this crew. Is, yeah, and they host bike rides every week and weekend, and they're open to everybody. They provide a welcoming group of diverse members of all skill sets, of people of all skill sets and skill levels who seek to advance their cycling skills and fitness goals. And they also do a lot of community outreach. Next, we have the San Antonio Lutheran Coronation Association and their float. The Queen, Grace Ellen Wenzel, Prime Minister Alex Aaron Hansen, Princess Olivia Dene Diaz, Prince Brian James Murray, and the Royal Pages Jesse, Alexandra, and Sullivan, the Duchess Ez, <laughs> Madison Curry, and Ella Inman. Haley Morlock Wenzel as well. Yeah, and that's an organization that was established in 1958. They're celebrating, so they're celebrating their 64th anniversary. They're a non-denominational denominational Christian religious and social organization. And if you're looking at what they're wearing, each and every dress that they're wearing on that float is made by a family member and also association volunteers. All right, how about some Grupo Folklorico de Bendiciones? Yes. Anthony Salazar established this group in 2015, the mission to share our talent and culture with the community. Yeah, and they, this is pretty cool. They toured and shared the stage this year with Grammy Award winning Norteño band Los Tigres del Norte, and they went to Houston, Austin, also right here in San Antonio, so they're famous. I like that. They were also the uh, 2022 Fan Favorite Award for the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo Western Heritage Parade, so. Congratulations to them. Good to see them out here. Let's give it up to the Grupo Folklorico de Bendiciones. I right love here those in San outfits Antonio. too. Yes. And speaking of folklorico dancing, they're doing it. We've got some going on right here. Oh, yeah, there we go. is here in San Antonio. Wonderful dancing. Yes. Great outfits, too. And now we have the East Central High School band. Yeah. The Honeybees also, the Golden Stars cheer. I mean, this is East Central High School. They are... The Hornets. The Hornets, of course. They opened in 1951 on then what was the outskirts of San Antonio. It's not really the outskirts of San Antonio anymore. The first graduating class in 1951 had six students. Today, more than 800 students a year earn their diplomas from the sprawling 30-acre campus, the Hornet Band, a previous Battle of Flowers Band Festival People's Choice Award winner. Yeah. The Honeybees and Golden Stars are small team and JV best in class winners at Showmakers of America. And the students there have a variety, have access to a variety of educational programs and extracurricular events to keep them engaged, connected, also motivated. And I'm just listening out. I mean, we're still a little far out from the band. That's all the way down Avenue E. Well, you got to get the Honeybees through. You've got to get, you know, yeah. the, the Golden Stars it's a through. Whole thing. It's a whole thing. And now we see, we see some of the. Uh, a uh, flag, flag core coming up. And you see, they got the crowd. And, and, and by the way, East Central high school football players look like they're also out here supporting the band, which is great because the band usually supports, supports the football team. So yeah. great to see them out here. All right, now let's listen into the band. Central High School, those are the Hornets. Yeah. 
the Hornet marching band. And you know, we've had some great vintage fire <laughs> engines go by. This is the King of Bargains Mission Open Air Market. A jumbo flea market. They have more than 2,000 vendors and their mission statement is to they want to enjoy the streets of our historic market with more than 60 acres of bargains. They're the true culture of San Antonio and they're excited to see you. Yeah, and you can see the crown for the King of Bargains and his court. That would also be the Court of Bargains. <laughs> The King of Bargains, the Mission Open Air Market. Oh, Here it's time for have, the Watermelon yes, Thump. Yes, the Luling Watermelon Thump Association. They are known for their Black Diamond Watermelons. Black Diamond Watermelons have the gray, those gray bat black seeds, which are perfect for seed, uh, seed spitting contests. Yes. I don't know you know, what's a, in you know what, what is important in a seed spitting contest? What? Wind conditions. Oh, this is true. <laughs> Yeah, it's very important. Your accident, you're going to get it on other people. You want it to go away it. from you. Yeah, this is true, right? So that's you know that's why the wind conditions are optimal for a seed spitting <laughs> oh. competition. Just in case you didn't know that. Only you would think of the that. The Luling Steve. Watermelon Thump Association. Ooh, look at that baton. It's the festival that even brought the Guinness World Book of Records to Luling in 1989. And in in 2019, they grew the bill the biggest melon ever. It was the Black Diamond Champion, and it weighed. 141 pounds. Could you imagine that? A 141 pound watermelon? Wow. Our friends from Providence High School, the College Preparatory High School, their dance and color guard are yeah. with us tonight. Yeah, they Bright were pink. Yeah, they were established in 1951. Uh, so they have 71 years of educating women in San Antonio. It's the only all-girls Catholic school that has both middle and high schools right here in San Antonio. Air Force Band of the West from Joint Base San Antonio Yay! Lackland showing up. Let's listen in. So I mean, they have week. so many different yeah fiesta uh, fiesta in blue town. and yeah. they are amazing and they, they do a special rendition of Johnny Cash and all of that I mean they're just an extremely talented group of musicians the Guadalupe County Agriculture Fair and Rodeo Queens from Marion Texas are with us next Queen Harley Thornton Princess Abigail Pollock and Duchess Morgan Carnes yeah they were established that organization in 1883 their purpose is to encourage and stimulate economic activity in Seguin and Guadalupe County by attracting visitors to the various activities that are promoted by the association. And if you've been to Seguin, Seguin lately, I mean, it's hopping. Yeah, Medina Valley High School, the Top Cats Ooh. dance squad right there. And next, the Medina Valley High School Panther Band, of course, out of Castroville. Yeah, and Very colorful. Okay, they may be, uh, you know, setting a new mark here. I like the, I like the uh, uniforms. I like the, I like the colors. I think you like the, the flare. lights. You're all about. It's all the good. Flare. Let's yeah. let's listen in. See if we can listen in a little bit to Medina Valley. Medina Valley High School marching band. And now 
we have our Lady of the Lake University. Uh, the university's mariachi-themed float features Mateo Lopez, who's recognized as the world's youngest mariachi by Guinness World Records. He burst onto the mariachi scene four years ago when he was just four years old. So now he's just eight years old. So we're hoping to catch him on the float there. Oh, there he is holding the mic. And look at that. I love it. The confetti, okay, we're about ready to start here, I think. Let's see if we can listen in. This is the Mateo Lopez. Fanatic uh, Angler Foundation. <laughs> the first organization to start fishing clubs in the Harlandale ISD. I like that. So they conduct a, a lot of fishing clinics. They promote uh, angler education. They foster the knowledge and skills of fishing while reinforcing the importance of stewardship of the land and also outdoor ethics, which is important. You know what? I think they should have been the last group, though. Why, Steve? Because Tell me why. then we would know we were fin-ish. Oh, Steve. That's the third time. The third punt. You're, I would it's say he's here third. all night. It's not the third. The, you, you've been losing track I at have. this point. You've I only have. heard three, probably, because <laughs> they have to be way more than that. All right, Triton Cleaning Service, our next truck going by. Yeah, they provide trash can cleaning and power washing to residents and companies throughout San Antonio. And they're veteran-owned, family-operated. They clean your trash can so that you don't have to, which is always nice. And they, of course, are reminding everybody to pick up the trash around their area so that they can keep San Antonio beautiful. All right, who doesn't like a calliope? This is Joey Groff in the Calliope, a 1921 Model T with a Calliope owned by Joey and Molly Groff from San Antonio. The music played by Joey. Joy, the Calliope enjoyed by people of all ages. They participate in parades all over Texas. He has participated in the Fiesta Flambeau Parade for more than three decades, and I believe he also was in the King William Parade this morning. All right, and here we have the Washington Washington's birthday celebration yes. from Laredo, Texas. Now, the mission there the, of the WBCA it serves to pay homage to George Washington by celebrating his birthday. We also know George Washington as the first president of the United States, father of our country. WBCA facilitates the economic growth, tourism, city promotion, and educational funding through the organization of annual community events. Yeah, it's the biggest celebration to honor George Washington in the nation is in Laredo. Think about that. Mm -hmm. Not Washington, D.C., nope. named after the man. It is in Laredo, Texas, where they have the biggest celebration to honor George Washington. They are celebrating 100 and 25 years. Pretty impressive. Of celebrating George Washington. Now here we birthday. have two men in a truck. Yes, these are movers. That's the name of the company, yes, not just two men in a truck, <laughs> yes. in case you're wondering. Yeah, the motto is movers who care. You see it right there plastered along the, the side of their van there. They're a proud and kind, in kind sponsor of the Fiesta Flambeau Parade, and they serve the moving and the loading needs of the parade equipment, and they've been doing this for three years. And now that we have a little bit of a break along the parade route, we want to take this moment to go to break, and we'll see you right back in just a few minutes. We're going to take an actual break an actual break okay Hello, San Antonio. My name is Natalie Gomez, your 2023 Reina Linda. When you think of Fiesta, you think of vibrant colors and great food. But most importantly, Fiesta is about cultures of San Antonio, about making memories with friends and family. We have been visiting schools, spreading the importance of education. As La Reina Linda, you have helped me raise over $100,000 for scholarships for college-bound students. Viva Fiesta, and don't forget, con Gómez son familia. Gómez lo fights! Gómez lo fights! Yes, 
Fiesta Flambeau is America's largest illuminated night parade. On Saturday, April 29th, the streets of San Antonio will light up with floats, music, and excitement. Get your tickets at Flambeau.org or FiestaSanAntonio.org. Fiesta Flambeau is America's largest illuminated parade. And KSAT's broadcasting and streaming it live April 29th. Join us for all the lights. And excitement starting at 7. Viva, Viva Flambeau! Viva Fiesta! Thanks to all of the Battle of Flowers Fiesta fans for a year of merriment that will reign supreme for years to come. We are getting ready for 2024 and promise to keep the celebration going. And to our friends at the Fiesta Flambeau Parade Association, we are proud to share the streets of San Antonio with the biggest night parade in America. Happy 75th, and may you forever keep the torches burning brightly. Viva Fiesta! Welcome back to Fiesta Flambeau 2023 as we get ready to... Continue the party downtown. You can tell a lot Not of over. noisemakers. A lot of people are, are still out here enjoying themselves, as are we. As we wind down Fiesta 2023 with the grand finale event. Seems like it just started. I know. It, it goes by so quickly because you're having so much fun. You're listening to so much good music. And here is a Kerr High School out of Houston, Texas, uh, the mascot. These are the tigers that we're looking at. And look at their lights there. Wow, look at that. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, pretty very impressive. Nice. Alif Kerr High School out of Houston. Unique by design, different by choice. Let's listen in. of three concert bands, two jazz bands, and a marching parade band. All of those ensembles consistently earn high ratings at contests. Wow. Next, we have America's Navy. Of course, America's Navy's mission to maintain, train, and equip combat-ready naval forces capable of winning wars, deterring aggression, and maintaining freedom of the seas. The United States Navy. and Guardians of the Fleet from Lackland. Also marching with the United States Navy, Navy midshipmen there. I love the reception they get from Sailors. our crowd. Yeah. Yeah, the high five, all that yeah. stuff. Yeah. It's funny because it, we're getting sort of towards the end of the parade, but people are still excited. You still hear the screaming. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And yeah. the kids yeah, are they, having so much fun. They can't get enough of it. And there we have another view of the Toyota Tundra. The Tundra and Sequoia part of this parade. And now here's another part of the parade. This is Image Dance Company and Academy, a dance uh, team that was established in 1991, and they teach a variety of different dances. I mean, flamenco, ballet folklorico, Spanish classical, folk dance, jazz, contemporary musical theater. They teach hip hop, ballet, ballroom for all levels of students from the age of two, and they say through the mature and young at heart. I like it. And they've been doing Fiesta since 1991. The 
Image Dance Company and Academy from San Antonio, Texas. And they're not done. <laughs> that's their that's their float right now. They've got more kids dancing on that float. I love seeing the youngsters dancing. They're into and it. Enjoying themselves. Yes. Yeah. I like that more than anything in this whole thing. Seeing people enjoy themselves, no matter what they're doing. Singing and dancing. I have to give them credit, especially for the ones that are on the that are on the float yeah. for dancing while the vehicle's going, and they're you know. I listen. Keep, keeping their rhythm. They're doing a great job. Next, we have the Highlands High School Band Dance and Cheer, the Mighty Owl Band, under the direction of Alejandro Jaime, Eduardo Lozano, Ray Lozano, and Melissa Hanks. Yeah, this was established in 1958, and the band won first and second place awards and caption awards at different U.S. band marching competitions. Uh, they also won first place in the Flambeau Parade for in the local band category back in 2019. Let's listen in to the band and the dance, watch the dance team and the cheerleaders as well. Destino Danzar here in San Antonio, and this is a, a dance performance group. Uh, they were established in 2012. Their mission is to promote and share their great love of dance with the community, which they are doing tonight. Wow, look at their awesome costumes. Look at that hat. I know. That's what I'm, I'm sort of saying each of each of these dance troops come up with their own outfits, their own, you know, way they want to celebrate the Jubilee 75th anniversary of Fiesta Flambeau, and they've all really done a great job, I think. By the way, two of the dancers from this Tino Danzad, which is this uh, dance company, dance group that we're looking at now, two of their dancers are 75 years young, just like wow. the Flambeau Parade. Yeah. That would be something if they had somebody who danced in every one of these parades that would be that would be something uh-huh steve <laughs> i'm just saying i mean i think it's great they have dancers that are 75 years old but if they had somebody that was like maybe 85 and danced in each of these from the time they were 10 to yes yes okay. that would be that would be something 75 is impressive believe me but <laughs> i'm not saying that's not impressive Okay, and here we have the Parks and Recreation Float. Love here, it. Yeah, it's the staff from across their department. They are representing the city tonight. And on that float, what we're looking at are some of the department's most tenured staff with years of service. Some of them have been working for Parks and Rec for 33 years, some as many as 44 years. And, and, and the walking along this float, this is staff that represent the aquatics, the trails, the recreation trades, the clean and green, and uh, the natural areas. And, you know, uh, San Pedro Spring Park, by by the way, the oldest park in Texas, also one of the oldest municipal parks in the U.S., dating all the way back to the 1700s. And by the way, San Pedro Springs Park just got a uh, uh, facelift, so it's it was you know it looks beautiful. San Pedro Sparks, San Pedro Springs Park. So this is Studio. Uh, 
Bobby S.A. These are walk, they're just walking along the parade route and their mission statement. What they want to do is provide an all-inclusive environment, sharing the love of dance with attitude, vibe, like and imagination. And they uh, feature the very be best in local talent. Recently had the honor of taking the stage to celebrate S.A. for New Year's Eve in San Antonio. Avi Showman Elite, comprised of professional world-renowned dancers who call San Antonio home. I like that, and we have more. And by the way, this is their first year in the Flambeau Parade. Really? So we'd like to welcome them on, yeah. They're doing a good job. Very uh, French monarchy feel yes. I'm getting from this whole group. Yes. Yeah, very nice. Be proud. <laughs> You're not going to do your French accent? Oh, no, no, I'm not. I don't want to do my French accent because I'd be afraid Tony Parker is watching and he would get, you know, jealous. He'd take it out on me. <laughs> Got a lot of dancers there, and coming up, we are getting ready for another marching band. This is from uh, Burbank High School. Yeah, right here in San Antonio. Yes, and it's uh, it's the, the mascot name is it the, the Bulldogs. Yes. Luther Burbank High School, San Antonio, established in 1937. They were the 2022-2023 sweepstakes winning band. Eighth at UIL March Area Marching Contest. First place in division at U.S. Band's Marching Contest and first at the SAISD Marching Invitational. Also, so, in the 2021-2022 sweepstakes, uh, they, they won in that. Let's, let's listen in. Hope they play us something. We have the Poteet Strawberry Festival. That festival was just a few weeks ago. Just happened. Yeah, and it was established in 1948. Uh, and um, they want to promote the Poteet Strawberry industry, enrich the local economy, and provide an activity for civic, church, and school groups so that they could earn much needed funds, promote the community, and they also try to award scholarships for seniors when they graduate from high school. Yeah, that's a very good float. A, they have there. a very good float. You know, I wish that they uh, had a had a band for the strawberry festival because they would jam. <laughs> oh, geez, <the> strawberry <laughs> festival <laughs> just took place. Always a fun event to go to. All right, we've got the Southside High School loud and proud Cardinal cheer team. Their mascot is the Cardinal. Right there, their mission statement is we are one, dream, believe, and succeed. By the way, last year the band was an area finalist at the UIL marching contest. The show Embers Rising was also selected as a feature band performance in the Fiesta Band Festival this week. So kudos to them. Yeah, let's listen in to the mighty Cardinal Marching Band.
Southside High School. Good job. Next we have the Floresville Peanut Festival and their float. Yeah, their mascot's the Goober, obviously a nickname for a peanut. Uh, by the way, the festival that they have, the Peanut Festival in Floresville, it always takes place on the second full weekend in October of each year. And, um, and they really want to recognize the importance of the peanut to the Southwest Texas agriculture. The Floresville Peanut Festival. I'm a, I, 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 I like peanuts. And I, I would like to go to the Peanut Festival sometime. Why, Steve? I'm just, yeah, I'm just saying. I'm, I'm a little skeptic. I'm a little hesitant to go, though. Why? I'm afraid I'll be shell shocked. <laughs> oh God, he's here the all The Floresville night. Peanut Festival aye, in Floresville, aye, Texas, aye. always a great time. Established in 1938. Did you say that? It's a long time. Oh, and now we have the Community First Health Plans right there. Riding on the float are the employees and the employees' children. <laughs> look, we have dinosaurs. I we've know, got treats. We've got crowns. We've got duckies. Toothbrush. That's Nuts, adorable. Carrots. Love it. Love it. Very nice. All right, the San Antonio Water System float is up next. This is usually, you know, I, I, it's, it's a giant toilet is what it is. Oh. I, I was, I was trying to think of a, of a more, you know, eloquent way to say that, but it's, it's a giant toilet. And is it, it, that's is a it so, are they supposed to show, pipes that, don't that lie. bucket of chicken? That is a bucket of chicken. Yeah. A bucket of chicken, milk, multi, multi flush of madness <laughs> is what it said. Look at that. They have don't a flush wipes is what it's telling you. And it says hashtag pipes don't lie. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> that is a nice looking toilet though. It's almost. I wonder who made that. Who made it, Steve? I, I know. I'm just saying. Whoever did, it's the Picasso commodes. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. All right, Community First Health Plans. Is that who we have next? No, they, are, they, they, like... they just passed us. So All right, Como County have... Fair and Rodeo Association. That makes more sense. Yes, out of New Braunfels. Uh, and they were established in 1893. They've participated in the Fiesta Flambeau Parade since the late 1950s. So they've always been a, a great part of this. And they're really considered the largest county fair in Central Texas. And this September, they're going to celebrate their 130th fair. Wow. Yes. And they do a lot Very of great nice. work in the community, too, because they provide scholarships for local students. Yep. And of course, it takes place in New Braunfels. All right. Ballet Folklorico right now. Established Sol de San Antonio. Sol de San Antonio. They were established in 2019, and they're really they, their goal is to inspire and educate the community in the art of dancing while also instilling and promoting our Mexican roots, culture, and tradition. Beautiful, Let's look at those dancers. Beautiful dresses. Yes. You know, they're an award-winning competition group. They were featured in Noche del Vaquero at the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo last year. Also, this year, they were featured in the 2022 Hispanic Heritage UTSA's Halftime Show at the Alamo Dome. And they listen to this. They've grown. They started with eight dancers, and now they have 60 dancers and students. That's so great. So they continue to grow. All right, the Antonian High School band and dance team here, here we have the cheerleaders up. first yeah yeah the band and the dance team the cheerleaders as well the band director is jordan hayne drum major thomas porter the dance team director is deandra buckley the assistant is karina vela established in 1964 antonian catholic high school was the mascot is the apaches antonian high school has more than 50 state championship titles across all sports and antonian has been recognized as a national blue ribbon catholic high school and pretty cool stuff because they actually performed in hawaii for the 80th commemoration ceremony of pearl harbor wow let's listen in a little bit to the antonian apache marching band Bright red. Can't miss them. And uniforms. 
Very nice. And right behind them, the Ballet Folklorico Festival, which was established in 1992. Look at that float. And they aim to bring the joy and beauty of Mexican regional dance to people of all ages everywhere. And by the way, Steve, this is the largest Mexican dance company in all of San Antonio, and they've been a part of Fiesta Flambeau since 1993. Yeah, and just the beautiful, again, beautiful dresses and just the, the Folklorico dance is so beautiful. And, and <laughs> we've been talking about how these floats have been rocking tonight. Yeah. This one's this one's also one of those that's that's, that's rocking and rolling. Ballet yeah. Folklorical Festival. Let's listen in. participated in the Fiesta Flambeau Parade since 1993. Now, this is San Antonio ISD. This is specifically the transportation department, the people responsible for getting our kids to and from school. They started in 1984, and this is, the, by the way, the only district in San Antonio that has Wi-Fi on buses, and they transport more than 1.9 million students in a year. And we actually have one of our photographers there on the bus. So you're getting an, a look there <laughs> of the crowds. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, photographer Billy Caldera actually on the bus as it heads by us here. Yeah, and their goal is to deliver students safely and also on time. That is the San Antonio SAISD School District, the Transportation Department. All right, Billy, can you see me? Can you see me, Billy? Uh, he's going. He's going straight down. There he is. We tried like waving. That. We I tried. like that. <laughs> that is a decked out bus. That. <laughs> Seriously, I mean that's a that's a real bus with the lights. It's even got its own, you know. It's got its crown on top and in the front. Yeah, it's got its own train. Yeah. A bus with its own train. Oh my goodness. I know we're mixing transportation modes. <laughs> Here's the uni University Health System here in San Antonio. More than 100 years old. And this is one of the largest employers in San Antonio. More than 8,000 people work for the University Health System. This is the only locally owned and operated health system in San Antonio and Bear County. And, and they, they take to heart their responsibility to serve the health needs of the community today and into the future. Yeah, they are ready to go. I like that, University Health. All right, so what do we have next? That looks like the, oh, that's also University Health. Yeah, it looks like Healthy Walkers is what they have there, and they've got a bike ride, they got a bike up there. This is their float, the path to good health. I like that. Hell, leading, leading by example, right? Yeah. The path to good health. And now this, this float that we're looking at, the people on the float, this is from Visit San Antonio, established in 1969. What they're trying to do is bring more people into San Antonio um, just to visit our beautiful city, the Alamo City, where there is so much to do. And tonight, the entire city is all lit up and welcoming people from all over. What, we usually have 750,000 people that just come out to view this parade. And yeah. this is pretty much, this is a lot of San Antonio that is out right now. Yeah, and they have more than 25 riverwalk operations hold more than 25 annual events just on the riverwalk and certainly the flambeau is one of those things that bring people out fiesta one of those reasons for people to come to san antonio beautiful weather down here in april and tonight certainly no different perfect weather and by the way riverwalk royalty on this foot by the way and when you talk about the riverwalk just in case you're ever playing trivia the Riverwalk is the number one tourist attraction 
not just in San Antonio, but in all of Texas. I believe that. <laughs> Why wouldn't it be? It's beautiful. And now I believe this is Bella and Co. Boutique. Yes, they opened in 20, well, they started in 2018, and they had the first brick and mortar store in 2021. But this is what's particularly impressive about this store, about this boutique. The owner, only 21 years old. Wow. She started this business when she was 14 years old. She was using the internet and she used just word of mouth connections really to, to get the word out about her business and she's been going strong seven years already. She's only 21 years old running the Bella and Co Boutique right here in San Antonio. So we have to give it up to her. Her name is Gabriela Aldaco. Aldaco? Yeah, Aldaco. Aldaco, yep. yeah, and we just want to give her a big congratulations. Absolutely. And another one of our Toyotas heading by, a Tundra and a Sequoia. And now here we have Pride San Antonio. Pride celebrating the diversity of San Antonio and the contributions of the LGBTQIA community. Established in 2004, they have numerous programs, including three sports leagues and an international film festival. And so far, Pride SA has raised more than $300,000 for local charities and nonprofits for the last 20 years. So they've been a very visible part of San Antonio. Absolutely. The Pride San Antonio right now coming down. They have the marchers. They also have the float itself that's coming down. Fiesta Flambeau 2023. Right now getting a look at Pride San Antonio as they really keep the crowd animated. Animated and energized, that's for yes. sure. Yes. And now we have, I believe, Steve, you're a big fan of this, right? Dos Equis El Camino? <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, Dos Equis beer in an El Camino? Yeah, come Who on. could want more than that? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> they had the Dos Equis bus for a while, now they have the Dos Equis El Camino. Are you kidding me? I have a feeling you're going to get a ride in that thing. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, pretty cool. I, forget a ride in one, I want one. <laughs> a Dos Equis El Camino. <laughs> I like that. Uh, by the way, Doseki started using those green bottles around World War II because the materials that were needed to make those brown bottles, they were in high demand. So the companies at the time swapped out their brown bottles for green bottles. Uh, they didn't want to stick high quality beer in, uh, in clear bottles. So there's a little bit of your history lesson there as to why beer companies use green bottles. All right, the San Antonio Brahmas, our XFL team, are the next walkers in Florida that you see behind us and there is of course coach Heinz Ward and his wife on board this flight uh, on board this float his wife Lindsay yes also part of this so it's great to see the Steeler the Pittsburgh Steeler great come and take over this team fell just a little bit short of the playoffs but it was awesome to have the experience and next year next year we'll get them as a matter of fact it's you only going to get better. It's only going to get better. And actually, the XFL championship game, of course, will be held right here in San Antonio. So That's going to be in 2024. Um, and by the way, if you... No, XFL championship is this year. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, and it's coming up in uh, just a few weeks, actually, at the Alamo Dome. Okay, right, right. Uh, now, there. Are, so if you can't make it to 
Now, the, the league name is uh, XFL, which, by the way, stands for Extra Fun League. It's a fan-first, fast-paced professional football league with innovative rules. Yeah, Guiding Light Hospice is the Aww. next group that we see here, where compassion meets service. And all that we do is to act with understanding and compassion while providing exceptional physical, spiritual, and emotional care. The Guiding Light Hospice. Yeah, they provide hospice care, routine home care, continuous home care, inpatient care, massage therapy, music therapy, iHeartRadio is the uh, vehicle that you saw there just passing us. Yeah, they broadcast from the very top of the Tower of the Americas. And the Amazon right now crew going by. <laughs> I feel like everybody's pretty much been sponsoring Amazon. I mean, come on. Come on. Since the pandemic, that's where most of us uh, do our shopping. And so it makes sense that we have Amazon here represented in Fiesta Flambeau. Well, this is a prime location. <laughs> oh. What? No? No, no, it works. Look at the, they got I'm the truck. It. See, they got the, tr they got the van. All kinds of good stuff. And the Fiesta Flambeau wants to thank NASA Searchlights for lighting up San Antonio tonight. Look at that. And that is the final light of a Flambeau that was full of lights. I like that the largest illuminated parade in the country. It is also, I mean, it is my favorite event of Fiesta is Fiesta Flambeau. It has been called the People's Parade, mm -hmm. the 75th year. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know we here at KSAT feel honored to be able to bring it to you live as it happens from downtown San Antonio. It's just, it's just wonderful. Yeah, and I just think for, for people who, if they're, rel you have so many people who are moving here to San Antonio yeah. and maybe don't know exactly what San Antonio is about, and you go to an event like this, this is a good introduction. This is it's, San Antonio. It's a good introduction to not only what's happening down the parade route, but also just the people. I mean, so nice, mm -hmm. so wonderful. I mean, it, this is really like one of those times when San Antonio comes together to celebrate. It's a city that loves a party and loves a party with a purpose. And this is really the grand finale of Fiesta. And uh, all of us here at KSAT are like I said, just so happy and honored to be able to bring it to you year after year. And that we're joining you in your homes, that you have yeah. us on and that you're watching this from home because, you know, some people might not be able to, to come out here, but they're sitting at home, obviously watching us. And we want to thank you for that because you're part of what keeps this alive. Yeah, here and around the world really watching us. Uh, with KSAT Plus, you can watch us on that. All right, let's go to John Paul Barajas and Jen Tobias Strusky also out and about tonight. Guys, what did you think of the parade? Do you have a favorite? It was the most amazing thing ever. I think way too many choices to pick from yes, when it comes music, to the perfect. But the music was definitely my favorite part. And the feeling out here in the crowd has been absolutely amazing. Steve, you said it. Party with a purpose. Yes. And this has been a party that we right. can out again. Yes. What, what time is it? Are we already at midnight? It's like 11.45 right, at right, night. Right. We got all these people. We have a first timer, a first timer right here. Anai, this is your first Flambeau parade. What did you think of it? I loved it. I haven't been to a parade in like years, so I loved it. I had so much energy. <laughs> I, I heard her. She was cheering. She was loving it. But we also have We somebody. have the veteran yes. Flambeau goer. Rebecca, talk to us about tonight's 75th Flambeau parade. Oh, it was so fantastic. That I like the lights and the floats. It was just very good, very good. And before I get to my next question, Billy, I want you to go over to the rookie real quick. Um, <laughs> I usually don't condone this, but it's a little bit of rookie hazing. That gets you. Her hair looked too pretty. Her hair looked too pretty. Now, now, we can come back to Rebecca one more time. You've been coming here for many years. Yeah. What keeps bringing you back? The atmosphere with everybody here in San Antonio makes is just one happy place. One happy family hanging out with KSAT. You couldn't do it any better than Every that. Every time with KSAT. Awesome stuff. We love it, guys. Obviously, the parade's done. Look at the stand. But
oxygen. We're out, out of blow. We're out of we still got people hanging out with us and partying. Because as Steve said, San Antonio oh. loves to party. Oh, they love to party. They know how to party. And I had a blast, right? It's been an amazing right. time. One more Viva Fiesta. All right, y'all ready? Ready? All right, three, two, one. That's alive. <laughs> we got the we got the gist of it. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> you know, we got it. We understood what they were saying. But yeah, it was it was so wonderful. And I have to, I, when we talk about our favorite parts, the bands were awesome. Yeah. We had bands from Michigan. We had bands from Georgia. I mean, yep. it was just awesome to see everybody coming together. And they all got such a, a warm reception. Everybody was so welcoming. But what I really loved was the veterans. Every time we had a veterans group come out, the community just embraced them. I mean, because we are, after all, Military City USA. It's hard to believe Fiesta 2023 started, you know, a Thursday ago, and it is already, you know, over. Doesn't yeah. it seem like it just started? Yeah, it does. And it I does. like, I like to think that Fiesta Flambeau is like the icing on the Fiesta cake. Well, it's over. Fiesta 2023 ends tonight with Fiesta Flambeau, but what a way to end Fiesta 2023. Now we want to invite you to Fiesta Flambeau 2024, and that, my friends, is going to be April. 27th of 2024. Yeah, for Just all of us. You know. and, and I want to give a shout out to everybody behind the scenes. Yeah. You see us here covering the parades or Fiesta Fiesta or whatever it is. I want to give a shout out to the production crew and the camera crew and the directors and the producers and all the people who have put this together. It's hard work, but it is a labor of love. And so for all of us at KSAT 12, thank you for watching. Viva Fiesta. Good night. Las Palapas drive through Fiesta from April 20th through the 30th. Featuring Fiesta favorites, chicken on a stick, nachos, margaritas to go, and many more. Las Palapas drive through Fiesta. Oh boy, she got another Wi-Fi device. Our network can't handle that. What? It can't? The router's gonna blow. And what does that mean? We're all gonna die. We're all gonna die? Not all Wi-Fi can be Spectrum Wi-Fi. What's going on in there? Spectrum Advanced Wi-Fi can handle up to 200 devices. Goodbye, sweet world. Get Wi-Fi you can rely on. Get Spectrum One. Whether you're buying your first home or your forever home, Randolph Brooks Federal Credit Union is here for you every step of the way. We've helped thousands of Texans buy new homes with lower rates and fewer fees, putting more money in your pocket, not ours. Let us help you navigate the home buying process with mortgage loan options that meet your needs. Get pre-qualified today. Apply at rbfcu.org. Helping Texans realize the dream of home ownership. It's what we do at RBFCU. Is your pup ready for a good time at Lucy's Doggy Daycare and Spa? Lucy's offers award-winning 